right in the chat. Are you excited for another exciting episode of Rob Grind? And I'm in love with Waluigi. Do 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 I was I was I was trying to do uh, sweet dreams are made of this in parentheses. <laughs> it didn't work. Hi everyone, welcome <laughs> to another ask. exciting episode of Rock Grind. I am Joe. I'm gonna do intros real fast. So get ready, lightning fast intros. Bam! Joined by Odorosi Rider. Hi, hello. Uh, I'm Odo. I'm playing Volley the Self Swashbuckler. I'm blue and I'm in your walls. Next. And uh, actually, not next yet, because I want to ask you a quick question real fast. One, we have leveled up to level seven. We're all level seven now. What did Volley pick as her general feat? I picked fucking Die Hard. I picked Die Hard, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder why I had to pick Die Hard. Oh, yeah, because you're now rotten three now, aren't you? That means you're permanently <laughs> wounded three until we get a plot. <laughs> <laughs> that or you just die you have your backup character right that or i just explode yeah, I yeah that's yeah. right chat that, that's right she's characters. a coward all right take it cat so <laughs> dick and volley will die in this episode yeah, it took you a second he was a she she's a coward he says as he was in my dms two days ago hey odo have you considered taking Die Hard? I think it might be a fucking a... used car salesman like hey. <laughs> slapping Bolly's head. <laughs> this bitch can fit so many levels of rotten. So like many. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Valley, I got a guaranteed way to live. <laughs> if you take this diehard feat at this APY of, of 11.7, you know, oh, yeah, you'll exactly. be good. <laughs> All right. Well, of course, next up, we have the ever thick Hulky Crow. Hello. Yes, that is me. I am Hulky Crow. I am playing the Kenrasu cleric Rahua, and I'm in your cheeks. Uh, any any no. special things oh, you wow. picked up when you leveled? I did. I picked up toughness. Oh. Oh, wow. He is thick. <laughs> you are thicker now. <laughs> yeah. It just means my health gets bigger. My uh, my cheeks get bigger, and I my flat saving track for dying I think is ten or nine plus my wound or dying or something something like that. I'm hard to kill. And next up we have our ever feel ever feel me do the alchemical fumes, Arundel. I'm Arundel. I'm playing as Baldric. He's an alchemist. He's gonna blow shit up. And my general feat that I picked up is quiet allies. Because I figure the best way in order for one of our well thought out plans to actually work is to go through is to not let you guys roll using your skills. Hey! <laughs> it basically, it. quiet allies means I am skilled at moving with a group. When you are avoiding notice and your allies follow the expert, you and those allies can roll a single stealth check using the lowest modifier instead of all rolling separately. Oh man, that That's requires you to follow the leader though. That sounds hard. Yeah, do we even have a party leader currently? We don't. We don't have a party expert. We well, don't have, you know, <laughs> Pickter and Squelch is going to step up. Yeah, yeah. Pickter and Squelch is going to end up in the get the grinder. So it you is. Know. It is either me or Tannhauser. So honestly, like, I don't. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> and uh, and and Tannhauser is missing today. We're speakers missing today. He has guests over. So he will not be joining us today, uh, but I am your host, Soren the Bear. Um, I'm playing the Strix Druid Orin, who recently just had his, you know, plot point die. And for my stuff, I picked up for my general feat fleet, and uh, and, and finally got to have the. And I've been waiting for a while because uh, Orin needs to get a bow because he's been having archer dedication for a bit, and um, he needs a bow. <laughs> it's like actually, he's my he needs last to do action something of things. Him. Cast yeah, acid yeah. Spray. And, and to get any training for bows, you have to take that dedication feat because we use the free archetype rule stuff like that as we can actually do different stuff. Because, because weirdly enough, I kept looking around. There's not a six level dedication thing if you go down the medic dedication, and I couldn't find anything. It was really weird. Um, oh. yeah, it was really it was, it was really odd. But I got some awesome spells because we have fourth level spells now for me and uh and Rahua, uh, I believe, and I got some neat stuff. It's gonna be real good, and uh, but of course the one and only, uh, one and only game master, the one who will make us suffer, make us rotten, make us all just implode. 
in here in the world of Tyne. It is lovely Game Master Thirsty. Hello! I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. That's what matters. I'm excitement. Only my excitement matters. Ah, welcome to the session today, I'll everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hello, hello, hello. I'm looking forward to to post post dragon story storyline. Let's see what happens next. I don't know. Anything could happen. There could be yeah. a boat. What, there could be a chainsaw happening? car. There could be next? several. Oh, what is happening next? Yeah, what story do you have for us today? Well, okay. So previously on Rot Grind. Dun, dun. Um, our band of destined chuckle has made their way deep into the swamps of the solitude where they've finally put to rest the demons of Orin's past. I mean, it's not really a demon. It was actually a beloved friend. Don't call him a demon. Kind of was a demonish creature by the end. However, um, we are going boy. to... He is a good boy. We're going to actually jump right into the session today um, by sort of picking off exactly where we left off. Um but a few things have happened now. Um, the, the body of Gorgamunger, or what was left of Gorgamunger, has been laid to rest. Um, as as soon as this, this process is completed, um, strangely, Tannhauser seems to slump over while standing. Uh, his eyes lose their lustrous glow, and he just sort of has his head to dip, as though someone has pulled a switch off in him. Uh Similarly, I would like everyone who is not Vali in the party to give me a perception check. Oh no, why don't I get to see? Because, you, you know, reasons. Oh, that's not very good. Dead. 18. Oren got a 21. And a Baldric? I'm trying to roll, but it's uh, a little, little laggy. Oh, there, there we go. go. Ooh, uh, wow. 27. With a 27. All right. Um... Baldric, you notice that in the aftermath of the combat against Gorgamunger and the, the subsequent turning of, of the dragon's remains, as you've sort of been looking around, perceiving the, the exact, you know, events going on, you notice that Vali looks a lot worse for wear. In particular, where once um, the, the rot had sort of taken a, a slow approach and it really focused itself more around her, her eyes, it seems like it started to spread. And you even see, like, black lesions coming across her skin. And the, the area around her eyes is incredibly dark, as though, like, someone had taken almost black makeup and shot it into both of the eye areas. It, it, it's really telling once you notice it. Um, for, for the others, it's something you could just easily avoid while, you know, being in the thick of the swamp. But as you kind of stop and take stock of the situation, Baldrick, you know that things uh, with Volley have taken a, a dangerous turn. Uh, Baldrick is going to, as we're just kind of collecting ourselves and preparing to move out <laughs> further and whatnot, he's going to flag down Volley. Volley, <laughs> get over here. <clears throat> What's the matter? Uh, Baldrick is going to just kind of, he's going to be invasive and he's going to just like grab your head for a yeah. second. Oh, personal space. You, you see his fingers kind of like go up to your eye and spread your eyelids a little bit. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. We don't really know each other like this, Baldrick. Like, this this is really... This is a lot. What's happening? You can kind of see through the, the slit in the helmet that he's just kind of, like, regarding you with a very uh, cold assessment. Bali, you are probably going to stay off the front line for now. What? Why? What are you talking about? Putting it simply, whatever rot you have inside you currently, and he's going to kind of make a motion towards one of the obvious lesions on your skin. It's coming mm -hmm. up to the surface. You're like a stack of pawns verd, except you're mostly mold instead of cheese. <laughs> Volley will push up her sleeves and kind of look herself over. Oh. Oh shit! I, I I I didn't, but but I didn't. I didn't go down there. You you saw me. 
Yeah, but you did get a nice lungful of whatever the dragon decided to spit at you. I, I didn't think it would spread without... Um... I... Aldrich's just going to wipe his hand on his own jacket. You should probably stay off the front for now. I... Because yeah. if you don't, we're going to lose someone who's the only purpose we came out here in the first place. <sighs> well, glad to hear that you care. It'd be an awful waste of our time to come out here just for you to die inches from the finish. So, for now, let one of the other people take up the front. Roa? Sure. Of course. I'll put myself up there, too. I can take a hit or two. Besides, I probably got a few more goes in me before whatever fending off that the great powers are doing on our behalf wears off. Besides, you got guns. Make use of them. Yes, it would yeah. behoove you to stay further back, Paul. Trust I... me, we can uh, soak it for you. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Uh, I don't know how much I can help from back here, though. We'll figure it out. Mm. I guess we we'll to. As, as you've, you've sort of finished things up and are by the now immobile Tannhauser, um, you notice off the side of the, the structure, um, the, the sort of ruined church you were, you were previously fighting in, you see Picturn Squelchfoot has, is sitting off of the side of some of the stone where once was probably one of the windows, uh, sort of like dangling his feet over the side, looking out into the swamp, just kind of like sitting there kicking. But you, it's the only motion that attracts your attention. Yeah, he's just kind of chilling over there. Yeah, yeah, he's, but he like he's kind of kicking his feet like back and forth and then just looking out into towards some of the brush in the swamp. Yeah, Orin's, um, at this point, I assume, are we leaving right next to Orin, just digging a grave for his friends? Yeah, we've, we've finished the okay. grave. We have finished right. the grave, and that is can literally I, where we're jumping in here. Can I elaborate so I don't, like, put a brought defeated creature in the ground that'll spread to the ground and then calls, like, an evil tree to come kill us later that, I, that, that we burn the body at some point? Fuck! I have to rewrite the whole thing! God damn it! <laughs> I, I, I remember. All I was this fucking there. work! <laughs> yes, no, no, you can. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Please. Damn, bro. I was, I was sitting here going. <laughs> Look, it's very uh, rare I do the walk away from my mic gag. Give me this. Go, go ahead. Please explain. I remember sitting there, like, after the session, I was like. I've had this happen before, because when I was still working at Paizo, Balbin did the same same shit to me. Because I put like this stupid artifact in the ground, and then he came back going, It's your fault, Lorne. Everything's ruined. Like, you're the reason I'm dead or coming onto the surface, because you buried it in the woods. And I'm like, I ain't having this again. I'm burning the body. <laughs> Not this time. Not again. I know how you fuckers work. I've worked with all of you. So, I want to specify, like, we're just at a pyre and it smells like dragon. He's like, you know, whatever. He's just snorting it or whatever. And, um... Snorting it. Yeah, he's like, ah, yeah, ah, Gorgamar, yeah. Uh, but one thing I want to specify that at least Orin got some scales off of Gorgamunger. Got the fangs for everybody. Want those details out there because he wants to take the scales and put it in his scarf. I'm sorry, it's, it's about so many details, but it's important to me. Um, it is. But he will... But he'll kind of come over uh, the pick turn and go and go and go. Like, Thanks, pick turn for helping me. Uh, help me burn the body. I, it's a big body, and it was a lot of work. But thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for <laughs> what's a, what's the equivalent of a lighter <laughs> in like an ever burning torch? Just just stick it in there. Or... It'd just be whatever the fuck magic is. Yeah, mm -hmm. like spark, you know, lights, like a little fire produce flame. I don't know. There's there's lots of options. We could just I mean, say you did it. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, wait, I have a question. Uh, I might even narratively declare this. 
And Pick Turn's cabin, like anytime he brings it back, is it like new or can we like summon it for like firewood and then burn the cabin? What the and fuck? Then, <laughs> and then when no. he brings it up again, it's <laughs> that's, new. That's, 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 too, that's too much effort. Just cut down a tree. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, I want to know. Uh, okay. I want to know. Okay. Right, who, who, who it's will lie down? It's very important to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you... Just, Why am I lying down? Okay. Hold on, <laughs> Zorin's, no. Just hold up. Zorin's being very annoying and, and needs his ab abstract bullshit. Thirst. <laughs> okay. Okay. The duration of Cozy Cabin is 12 hours. Uh, okay. The walls of the hut are simple and wooden with small square glass windows, and it has one okay. wooden door. Um, it has a magical fire inside of it. Um, okay. It's lit with magical light. Um, fuck it. You can harvest wood from this thing. You know, like sure. <laughs> what the hell? Like, like, okay. Like that. What, one sec. One sec. No, 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 no. This isn't capitulation. Look, look, look. This isn't capitulation. Is this what you're going to request? Picturn does is summon one of his cozy cabins so you can chop it up and use it for firewood. No, we probably want it for shelter. I'll take chat suggestion and summon the protector tree like a hundred times. Hey. Like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it just burns. <laughs> so it was like labeled with like a ton of protector trees just on top of Gorgamonger's corpse and just burning it for firewood. Okay, so so did this did did you burning your your favorite protector tree happen before or after you went and said hi to Pickturn? Or was it like you went before. and said s s okay, before, okay, okay. Before story wives to go in like I'll do it, Paul, and then we then we burn the corpse and ah, got his why, stuff why and do I feel pain? Ah, ah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Gotcha. Not <laughs> all that. We heard the screams and orange is like, just ignore yeah. it, just ignore it. <laughs> you know, why does this tree pain. speak? Ah! It's trying yeah. to demoralize enemies. It doesn't know how to do anything different. Like, don't worry about it. They get into think or Zorin just gets off on suffering or something. So it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, and uh, he goes to the pick turn. Like, Thanks for helping out, pick turn. I understand. You know, they wouldn't shut up. So I'm glad we finally, you know, got the fire going. Oh, yeah. That, that, was, that was good. Yeah. He doesn't make eye contact with you. Kind of looks. He looks the way. Take turns looking. Roll yeah. perception check to kind of yeah sure please see any movement things like that. Hey, I'll, I'll, please it, it, find a thing I'm pointing at. Roll it, yeah. Roll, roll a twenty-one. Um, yeah, a twenty-one is enough for you to to catch that he seems to be looking at some of the brush, maybe thirty feet north of the structure. Um, but you're noticing that there there's something kind of awry with it. Like some of the some of the, the brush and the, and the foliage has been like compressed and it looks like something has maybe been put there or thrown there that's disrupted how it should have naturally grown. Okay. Um we'll look at the big turn and go. Um you see anything weird? Looks a bit weird over there. Yeah, I I think I don't know. It just uh, that that grass looks something something something's wrong. I, I don't I don't I mean I don't know. Well, yeah, Rahua. Yes, Sorin. There's something wrong with the with this bush over here. I need another opinion. What do you mean something is wrong with the bush? Look, look, just just get over here. <sighs> Oh, okay. Then Rahul will saunter over. Yeah, and you come over and, like, immediately Oren can point out to you this, this like, kind of pressed down uh, set of foliage and bush there. Interesting. I, I'm i not familiar with this. Uh, can I make a nature check on this? Uh, yeah, sure. Check on my nat There we go. Mm, 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 mm. That's going to be a 28. Oh, yeah, that's enough for you to tell. Like, the, the plant is growing normally, seems healthy. It looks to just be some, like, some tall grass with a bit of, like, brush there. Um, but something has, like, parted it. Like, something was maybe tossed there or thrown there or placed there that has kind of caused it to grow out at odd angles. Now, would the appearance alone suggest that something is still pressing down upon this where it's part of? Yes. Interesting. Uh, let me see. I might actually have to help out with this. Hmm. 
maybe no one's imagining that. It might not be a good idea. Uh, can I do an Arcana check, perhaps? What are you trying to do? I I guess see if there's some kind of magically invisible items placed here. Um, well, my first question is for cantrips. Do you have detect magic? I don't have it prepared. Yeah, so you're not going to be able to, like, really immediately detect any kind of magical presence um, oh. without, like, seeing what the object is. Like, it's, whatever it is is hidden, so. Now, if I'm assuming it's a magic invisibility, can I just try and dispel magic? Yeah, absolutely. Then I will cast Dispel Magic. Okay, sweet. You uh, you begin invoking and casting Dispel Magic from a distance. Um, sort of magical runes dance along your, along your fingers as you cast the spell. Um, but there seems to be no obvious effect. Huh. What do you think? Well, there's... Right, go ahead. Uh, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. It, it may be some kind of magically in invisible item... I can't seem to dispel any magical effects around it, so perhaps it's something else entirely. But something is most definitely there. Yes, it, it, it is wrong in the sense that something is sitting on this piece of shrubbery. All right, well, I think we should go touch... Somebody who isn't me should go touch it. Well, sadly, our Magus is out of action, so... I'll touch it. Okay, so Oren, you just head up to towards it? You were way too excited to put me in that. <laughs> you know, you didn't even let me, like, talk about it. I was like, yeah, yeah, get in there. <laughs> Push get in uh, there. Baldrick's yeah. going to hold back Oren and be like, <laughs> maybe we should have the very sturdy, sentient tree do that instead. That's a good point. So, Oren, you continue walking towards... <laughs> I'm going to yank him by his fucking <laughs> <point. laughs> <laughs> I take him by his fucking hood, and I, I, I motion for Rahua. You mind trying to pick it up, whatever it is? I can attempt to. I'll do the best I can. And Rahua will go over to the non-existent item right now because somebody forgot to enable visibility as an admin, and he <laughs> will try and pick it up. So as you walk over, um, you, you notice that... There is an object there. It's just under the brush. Like, it's kind of sunk into the ground, which is why it's all parted. Uh, it appears to be a wooden crate. Oh. Um, it has a seal on it. Um, it, it has... Seals can um, be good. Yeah, it has it has like a like a stamped seal that's been put over the over the wooden pl uh, wooden planks on it, uh, like some kind of like stamp or, or paint that's been been adhered to it. Uh, you can also um, you can also tell that some of the boards along the um, what, what to you would be the right hand side of this box uh, are cracked, and the ground around it um, seems to have like a black oily tinge to it. Hmm. Now, black and oily, are we talking like oil or are we talking rot? Give me a give me an appropriate check. What uh, what skill would you like to use to identify nature? Uh, would uh, we consider rot a part of the natural order? Um, I mean, it is one of the skills you can mm. certainly use. Um, there would I also would... be occultism. They're like, you would get different results based on the specific skill you used. I see. I, I'll actually, I'll try an occultism check. Why not? Okay. Yeah. That's a 19. It's enough for you to tell that this, this matches up with some of like what you've seen before. Um, also what the what the group found within the um, the perfectite cube. Uh, and you also can see that, like, if this was rot that sort of leaked out like raw rot, um, it's long gone, either seeped into the soil or used for some other purpose. Um, the, the, the residue there means it's sort of just like a stain of sorts. Thing. OK. Uh, with the seal that's on the box, mm -hmm. is that immediately familiar or should I just make a recall knowledge check for this? Society. Society. 
Ooh, nat 20. I needed that because I have Ooh, zero. Very <laughs> nice. Nat 20. Uh, yeah, so you would recognize this, uh, the, the seal as belonging to the medics guild of outset. Interesting. What is the medics guild doing with distilled or processed rot? It is the same uh, symbol and sort of stamping that you saw on the crates that were inside the perfectite cube. Baldrick remembers that wholeheartedly, beginning to think that this may be the work of the Medics Guild and this wasn't just a caravan that got robbed. Yes, I would be inclined to agree with you, Baldrick. If not, they were trying to ship this back outset, lest it be going to worlds beyond. Why don't we take control of it then, so that way it doesn't just linger out here and become a hazard for someone else? That would be best. Am I able to carefully open what remains of the box there? I'm assuming yeah. most of it's Absolutely. still intact. Ab Absolutely, yeah. You can, like, kind of crack it open um, just with, you know, even, like, your, your pick-like appendage can be used to sort of pry the, the top of this thing off. Um, as you do, what you can tell uh, from peering inside is that whatever content liquid or, or jelly-like matter uh, has all seeped out. Um, it stained the bottom and the interior sort of a, of, a, of a dark kind of black tinge. Though you also see within there are a couple tumorous growths that look as though like small bits of the rot might have even taken hold in the wood here. Well, whatever was inside is mostly gone, although we have a couple hangers on. Hold on, I think I might be able to care of this one myself. Uh, and Rahua will ready his mossy mace. Oh, yeah, yeah, and if you, like, bring bring the mace down, as soon as it even comes close, there's kind of a a, a shriveling sound, like a... And then it, it retracts even before your your mace would would impact at this like these these tumors just dissolve and the the tiny bits of rot that remain are gone. Right. Well, whatever was here is gone for the most part. But it's not to say that somebody else is not carrying around the cargo elsewhere. Hmm. How old does it look? Well, judging by the stains of rot blight on the ground and the surrounding material, it could have been here quite some time. Especially with how old the materials were within the Perfectite Cube. It's it's tough to say, necessarily, but it's been here a while. There's a shuffling sound uh, that all of you can hear of the, the terrain, some, like, crunching of, of you know, twigs and whatnot on the ground as a figure approaches from the west of your location and you recognize it to be um the the robed earth touched uh individual that you've come to know as tashti uh, and tashti sort of advances towards you are are you done it sounds like you're done here i'm guessing after the screaming and stuff stopped yes we're done here we were just wrapping yeah. up some unfinished business. We're clear now, and we've got some potentially new and interesting information along with it being done with. Understood. And Tashti's, you know, onyx eyes sort of glaze over everyone before pausing slightly on you, Volley. Hi. Hi. Yeah, um, there was a little more rot in here than expected, and, um, well, uh, looks like your girl's got a little bit of a cold. <laughs> yes, That's we're not a problem. cold. We're aware of that... the problem, Tashti. Oh, oh, yep, okay. Well, you really should probably come to the Kaipu now, because hand kind of, like, waves up and down at Volley. Uh, that is a problem. Yeah, I imagine it certainly is. How, how 
how does Volley feel? Like, do I do I feel the physical effects of this, or is it no. mostly cosmetic? No, it's it's like in fact, it's entirely cosmetic as far oh. as you you are aware. Like you you don't feel anything um, that's that's bothering you physically. Um, you you can definitely be shown the physical effects of it, like these lesions and whatnot. But you there's no like drain on you. Um, if anything, just maybe you're like a bit quicker to temper as we've discussed before but that's Mm -hmm. more of a defense mechanism than like a haha something is you know wiggled its way into your brain at least as far as you're aware (sighs) well I guess we should get out of this area if it's covered in this correct we need to get a move on anyway yeah I imagine that we'll want to get it seen, too. Well, that's why we're going up this way anyway. Hopefully Vic will have gotten up there with her crew before we've had a chance to and figured out what the situation is. We were going to meet up... Ah, damn it. Uh, Thurston, can we see the yeah. map? I am just preloading that scene for you all right now, because I think at this point you're kind of wrapping up here... Um, and we, we sort of cut back to uh, our our lovely overhead uh, exploration map here. Um, you should see where you are right now. Um, kind of this this area where you encountered Gorgamunger to the southwest of your starting location out at Zapple Zaps. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you um, kind of Baldrick. I just assume you pull out your map and begin yeah, he's pulled out his map and stuff. he's kind of roughly tracing to where. We were told not to go by Mr. Alort, which we've already basically determined courtesy of uh, Tashti that the Kaibu is there, and that's where we'll find the Twang Folk. Uh, so in theory, Victrix and the crew will be there. Well, at where we said we were going to meet, which is probably not directly there, but probably like somewhere southeast or like more south-southeast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, she, like, Tashti, or sorry, they, uh, look at the map, Tashti sort of gazing over things, and what they do is they, they place their, their, their finger, um, moving along this path, kind of like, okay, north, northwest, a bit further northwest, a bit north, and then, um, sort of, like, placing their finger right about here, and sort of, um, the the sodden earth kaibu is in this area um this area over here and their finger sort of moves over that is where caravans tend to come from hmm. caravans right so just just random caravans like from the trade depot oh no, from outset, they they send supplies to the to the Kaibus as part of our long-standing agreements. That's odd. All right. Interesting that the children of the blaze would be there. Uh, any Wait. reports of supplies going up in flames? I'd say. heard a little bit of that. Well, you remember that that was that's what happened with me. My, my I was part of one of them caravans. Then we got all sorts of attacked and Baldrick motions to pick turn. Yeah, that's exactly my point. That's why he didn't want us to go there. He's not might not be after the twang folk. He might just be interested in ambushing caravans. Didn't want us getting in the way. Oh, shit. Baldrick seems to come to a rather annoying realization. Huh? If he wasn't after the Kaibu or any of the Twang folk, then he probably just wanted us to stay out of his ambush spot. Probably. Well, hopefully Victrix shows him what for. No, we can't just rely on that. Son of a bitch. So, so if if I may, and picture sort of leans over your map, um, you know, on tippy toes, cause halfling. I think caravan I was part of was was about here, and he like draws an awful like scratch marks, and then I, it was coming from from outset. We kind of we kind of went like that, and then then we were supposed to to go that way. So I guess that makes that yeah that makes sense. Baldrick's going to fold up his map irritably. Well, shit. Yeah, he just doodled all over your map. 
Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> that's not what I mean. Nick Turn, you're such a good artist. Yeah, yeah. Can you draw something else for us? That's not what I mean, but yes, he did just draw all over my map. Going to keep Picturn's terrible drawing there. <laughs> it, it actually yeah. does help quite a bit, believe it or yeah. not. He's just annoyed because this map. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Now we got two problems. Well, that would explain, I guess, why this Eilort person uh, wanted Orin to come down here. Because, you know, and like you've already put the map away, but he's sort of like pointing to where things would have been. It's like, yeah. I guess, I guess down, down this way is pretty far from this way. So, yeah, that. Oh, 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 I see. You know, that, that. This is some kind of triangle stuff. Now, there's a school. It's um, by Seedy Willow. That's another town over. They te teach mathematics there. And they do all sorts of fancy things with triangles. That's what my, my cousin, Eleni, she went there to learn about triangles. You know, took right. a lot of classes on tri- Oh, she was we a triangleologist? We got two well, problems. I don't know if that's how that works. I think it what it more was was some kind of Vulture <laughs> clamps his head on <laughs> his hand on pick turn. <laughs> well, hold on. I, I was interested. The no, we tried. don't have time. I like that speaker's not here, so you have to enable this fucking little Kremlin Odo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Somebody's got to take up the mantle. Yeah. <laughs> we got to let the little guy bother people, and if 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 speaker's not going to enable the botheration as he is wont to do, then it falls to his best friend, Oda Roshi Rider. <laughs> yeah, so you've clamped the halfling's mouth shut, yes. We need to get a move on. Right, much as I'd well, like to hit up with the twang folk directly, if we don't alert Vic to what the hell she's bumbling into, that could be a problem. Much as well, I hate the bitch, I don't exactly want her to die. The Kaibu's in the direction anyway, isn't it? Yeah, but the problem is, is we're going to have to go up towards where Elort doesn't want us to be, which leads me to believe that he's got something waiting there for a caravan that we just told Vic and a whole bunch of other random people you get what I'm getting at? The um. issue here, and Tashti sort of looks over, is there's severe wetlands, uh, roughly, and uh, then asks for your map to repoint. He, um, he unfurls it with the with now pick turns drawings now smudged, further ruining the map. Yeah, um, points roughly here and here uh, as part of the the marshy wetland to the north these three areas would mean if you wanted to go on the path you'd have to go this way and then up um, alternatively we could go this way towards the kaibu and then work our way back which looks over at volley given the state of your companion you, you may wish to consult with the speaker first yeah, problem is, is that putting extra time on that regard probably puts that crew at risk. Not even just so much Vic, it's everyone else I'm worried about. I may have hired them, but it's no excuse to send people off to die. That's if there's something there. God damn, I hate being in the solitude. I, I think it's pretty... Mur, mur, mur. Yeah, just, just hand over. It's, like, well, yeah. it's not that bad. I can... Rahila kind of does his way around and... I know how to navigate some of this stuff, and so I, I think I think together we can get through it, okay? And also, I'm sorry to ask you, Aaron Dillon, you know, sure. just bump your mic up by like 20%. I got you. Like I've been, I bumped it game. up like Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ. Yeah, I'm looking at the audio thing, and I'm like, you're like halfway in it, and everyone else is like touching the yellows. Like Lance, just what the just fuck? Just, it, it's microphones, man. It's your new one. You're figuring ah. it out. Pain. Continue. It, ta it takes time to dial Yeast. it in, depending where your distance from. You know, it's a whole microphones are weird. Am I audible yeah. now? Uh, do your Baldrick voice. Just, just look at Orin right, and call yeah, him an it's insult. Me, it's me. Hey, Orin, you're a dumbass. <laughs> no! Yeah, the no. issue is that when you do it, you lower a lot, so you're like... Well, yeah, because it's kind of hard to keep monotone and be loud. Yeah, so when you do it, just get closer to your mic. Die. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry to stop, but I know some of no, you complaining. It's all right. Continue. Yeah. All right, but yeah, Orange like we can, we can do it together, guys. We can if we just cut straight through. I'm pretty sure we can get there. Uh, let's 
All right, fine. Present company's more important. Let's get going. We don't have a whole lot of time. Well, we should probably rest for the evening here. You all look... weathered. Yeah, we do. We probably should make camp first and rest and then then head out. Uh, yeah. I think right. so. Probably for the best to bed down for the night. Yeah. Okay. Baldrick's going to deploy his pup tent and, and just call it. It's just right now. <laughs> Picturn looks over awkwardly at the charred remains of the protector tree, then looks at his hands. Dare I summon the cabin now? <laughs> yeah, you can. Hey. It doesn't complain when it's summoned, though. I. No. All right, I'll summon the. Yeah, here's the cabin. <laughs> Oren, I'm beginning to think you have a problem. I. You think? <laughs> I, yeah, you I've should probably a, stop. Let, let me explain my life. I've got across the entire world. I've had multiple of my friends die. I got thrown in prison for protecting myself and I had to eat a guy doing it. And I've been going around this entire giant city just seeing the horrors of life. And I had to burn one of my bestest friends. I'm kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah, Oren, that doesn't excuse you constantly summoning a tree that can feel pain just to burn it. He know what he did. What did, Oren, what did the tree what? do? What did he ever do to you? <laughs> First and I rolled to <laughs> cook Oren. We're <laughs> <laughs> looking horrified. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even a, like, I'm not even a, like, a tree, like, innately. But that's just troubling. What, what First did the tree do to you? I invoke, make, tell backstory now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I want to, I rolled to like just cook Oren, screams. okay? Okay, give me a crafting check. Oh, I've got seasoned. I can do that. Oh, okay. Remember, I took season, so I get a plus one circumstance bonus to craft food and drink. Very good. I was actually just going to use that on the ration so that way we could get like maybe some form of benefit out of it. I don't know. Maybe just cooking food is just something to pass the time with. It, it beats burning the fucking tree over and over again, Oren. <laughs> you did what he did. That murder. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going mm -hmm. to I'm going cooking to Oren. I'm not cooking Orin, I'm cooking rations. Oh, okay. Let him cook. <laughs> Orin wants to help. Even It's miraculous that even with... Oh, that was a 19? Oh, no, I hang wanna, on. I, I want oh, to it was assist. a 9. No, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you got like a 20. I want to assist <laughs> with the cooking. Um... I want to roll a survival check to find ingredients. Can, can, I, can I aid? Oh, boy. I, I have an important question. Oh, uh, yeah? Does your assisting involve summoning a new protector tree? Yeah, the, well, no, I would love to summon more, but it's a spell slot, and we already did the funny, so technically no, but you know, the cabin already has a magical can fire inside. You don't You don't so. have to set fires either. I can just use my unused no, alchemist I was, fires. I was going it's fine. to go get ingredients, like mushrooms Oh, okay. And You're not making a like campfire yeah, out no. of another friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm helping you get stuff for the cooking, so we can okay. do that. I was yeah, just please. using the rations we had because, you know, life. Uh, so can I, can life. I do that, Thurston? Can I aid? Yeah, you can give me a survival check. Remember, Look, Chad, I've been... I've been playing a bunch of Kingmaker lately, so I just assume this is what happens when they make a hearty meal when you camp. Um, just, you know. All right, roll me. I passed the demon play. I had to play offline on, on stream because I was playing Wrath of the Righteous. I hate the demon area, and I finally got out of it. And I love when you finally come out, like, like no, no real spoilers. You come out of a situation, look around, like, oh, yes, they all fucked up, and you got to fix it again. <laughs> So it's, You're the hero. Yeah, yeah, it's getting annoying. All right. Survival check. <laughs> I, I, I saw it. It went on that one, and then it yeah. bounced to that seven. It roll, I rolled the 22. Okay. You are able to assist um, bringing some ingredients, which uh, Baldric um, manages to to turn. Baldric, what kind of what kind of uh, ration food are you are you making for everyone here? I'm presuming that the rations we picked up from Zabble Zap's place are probably just like basic travel provisions, like dried meat and other kinds of shit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally, box. I'm just rehydrating it and turning it into like 
something that we can fry in the pan that actually has like, because people like hot food more than they like cold food. You know, except for Hua, he's a tree. I don't eat. Exactly. I mean, you still do, but yes. He sometimes tries, if you remember the egg. Ugh. It didn't we go don't well. need to talk about that. Regardless. <laughs> Please don't make me eat more eggs today. <laughs> Baldrick is using the mobile, the, the walking pot to cook up like a, a stew out of like <laughs> dried meat and bread and other kinds of shit. It's it's better than just all that shit cold. Oh shit, so the walkie I stew? It's, mm. Yeah, it's a walking stew. We will keep it. Thurston, yeah. I have a question. Can we actually increase our speed by being able to use the walking, the walking cauldron as a mobile form of rationing? Yes. I mean, aren't we are, aren't we aren't we camping? I don't I don't think we. Uh, I mean, like I for the, the for like future walks. for the future purposes. <laughs> Howl's moving cabin. I Howl's mean, that sounds like a fifth chicken. level version of the cabin. <laughs> the <laughs> walking <laughs> cabin. But yeah, <laughs> that'll that be for later. Spells. But yeah, okay. I wanted to ask that. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Especially because you, you've made these checks here. I assume part of what you can do, too, is, like, use your walking cauldron to to better uh, keep the, the provisions inside of it so that you now have this little buddy who walks with you um, and, and travels along the way. Um, all right. All His right. name is Stu. Stu. His name is did, Stu. Did I, did I help with my A check? Yes, which 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 did bring him up to a thirty, which makes the uh, makes the, the the movement very very fast. In fact, it's gonna pick up did your I speed crit? quite a bit. Um, no. Okay, if it's normal, it's just plus one. Um, yeah, yeah. But but as he's cooking stuff, Orin just comes over. And, you know, he's got mushrooms and herbs and stuff, and he has the equivalent of like like worms that looks like gawk or whatever from like Star Trek. And he just God. just throws it in the pot. And he has a big but grin I'm, on his face. I'm rolling to intercept. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. What do I, what do I roll here? Reflex. Yeah, sure. Let's go with reflex. I roll I roll a fucking reflex because I'm not letting you put that shit in my I saw that twenty. <laughs> Twenty-three. Um well that is higher than the skill check that Orn had, so I'll I'll you you manage to <laughs> I, prevent I him from the putting worms. the full gawk in, but get the like the nice mushrooms and whatnot. Yeah, I would like I to repost. assist. I hate what? you. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> which, who are you assisting? I'm going to assist Baldrick right now. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rahua is going to go over to the pot, look at okay. it. He's going to move his he's gonna cock his head just slightly as if the motion is someone sniffing a pot. He doesn't have a nose, he can't really smell. Okay. Um, and he's going to hold put his hand up to his chin, stroke it for a little bit. Contemplate. Contem I can speak today. Okay. And extend a hand over the pot as a just blot of weird star stuff manifests and a whole chicken drops in as I cast food, create food. <laughs> a whole chicken? Please tell me it's chicken. dead. I, like, I don't, okay. I, I'm, I like, done with, I'm done with the suffering and cruelty today. Can we stop conjuring things to kill them? I mean, it's, it's conjured food. I don't think oh, it's hold, conjured hold on, chicken. Hold on, hold on. Like a conjure living chicken. Erndo has a great point. I agree. Let's, let's not make cruelty needless. Thurston, due to my chaotic nature, can I, I roll a you. 1d3 to determine if the chicken is alive, dead, or fully cooked? <laughs> alive, dead, fully cooked in that Alpha, order. Alpha, you better sure. be watching this shit with the biggest grin on your fucking face. <laughs> he is. Little he snot. messages look, me look, so or, much to or be or like, is yes. Or, <laughs> or is excited for a fucking three-piece. He's ready. Like, he's waiting. <laughs> he sees what's happening. Let's find out. Okay, Let's find out living, together. dead, cooked. Roll that d3, please. It's, it's alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll a reflex save to punch the chicken out of the way. <laughs> oh, wait, you did one animal cruelty. <laughs> yeah, I know. I... Zorin, <laughs> boiling the chicken is worse. Okay. 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 What? The... 22. Like seven again. Um... God, what's what's fucking I don't like how am I adjudicating? I actually no, it's twenty-three, because that would be the spell DC of create food, apparently. Um so oh the, my God. 
Look, look, look. Okay, I also want to point out, chat. I'm, I'm putting it into the chat here. There's create food, which Rahu had just cast. So this whole thing of like, I'm gonna do some like narrative with rations and and whatnot. Like literally, this whole time, Hulky could have been like, okay, I cast a spell and we move on. We have turned this into like a 15 minute bit in which Hulky's like, this spell that would have made everything. Fuck that. I'm gonna use to call a chick. Oh, we're not going <laughs> anywhere, Thurston. Let's be honest. Well, well hold. Hold on, hold on, okay, too, because okay. the spell text right there says it creates enough food to feed six medium creatures for a day. How many fucking chickens is that, Thurston? I don't know. How fucking hungry are why you? Are you I think, why I think are you making why are you making like a decent family harder. of four? They're like a whole a ass one, chicken? Yeah, one chicken would do it. Wow. How much chicken do you eat, Hulky? I don't know. A I chicken, don't eat. A chicken <laughs> taken into individual pieces is eight pieces because you can cut the breast in half and you have the upper and the lower breast. That means you have eight pieces. You have two wings, four breast chunks, two thighs, two drums. Culinary when, school with Baldrick. When Rahua goes to order chicken and they say, what pieces do you want? He says, yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> yes. Can I get the head? I just, you, I can't fucking wait for the inevitable YouTube comments that are just going to be so based on the mass of an average human being, the number of chickens that would be required. <laughs> like, uh, this please is your homework this. for today, Chad. Find out how much this actually no, makes. No, because this goes out the window <laughs> because I'll have you know, I can eat a whole rotisserie chicken and that can be one meal. That's like my true. coworker. He does it at his fucking desk. Exactly. That is Therefore, not at his desk. I'm not even fucking around. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm just gonna say we progress to the next day, and whatever happens to the chicken happens. <laughs> oh no, no, we haven't oh, no, even no, no, got no, to no, the we're serving so sizes. No, 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 we can. We've ruin almost got Cook Serve Rahua too. We've almost got the sequel in the bag. We're going to start streaming <laughs> Cook Serve Delicious. I'm gonna make Zorin play it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, baby, you so ruined, you ruined do we my stew with a whole live chicken. chicken. Do what you gotta do. Oh, for fuck's sakes, yes. With your 30 and whatever the hell all of that was, you get a plus one uh, chicken bonus. And then Yay. you rest, you all heal up Let's to full, go. you regain all your spells. Please put that on. And then the party begins making its move this way, which takes approximately two days instead of three days because of the chicken bonus. I During do not have the resources to make Puffo. Stop asking me to do that. Polly just like, we finally have done, we've done it. We learned which bonus came first. It was the egg. <laughs> Why I the fine. fuck do I, I not have I mod mode. privileges that to disconnect gold. people from yeah. this call? <laughs> no Why? You Why can I, I not right mode. click and just kick you the fuck the out of this The rot's getting call? to my brain. I'm, I'm going seeing going the to... ancient <laughs> mad wisdom. The best wisdom. option I have is remove I'm friend. It won't let me disconnect, but remove <laughs> I'm going to floss my teeth until I hit jawbone. <laughs> We move quicker because we have funny pot full of probably a decent ration stew and also just like a whole boiled chicken. Arendelle, what's the pot's name? Stew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stew. Nice. Okay. That's to you, stew. Okay. Did that hex yeah. just move? I Does just suggested oh. it because the border was a bit off. <laughs> Does he respond point. to his name is the most important thing. Are we going yeah. to encounter another funny creature? How do you train the? Can we get one of those buttons that like let's say words? We're we gonna train click this or dude train to talk. Them yeah, it, it would be like mad, mad, hurdy, hungry, <laughs> mad. It's gonna turn into Coco the gorilla. <laughs> R.I.P. Coco the gorilla. We lost Me, a real sad, one. Full of ick. <laughs> full of <laughs> stew. Full of can stew. Can we teach the magic color that's going to die someday? Full bag. of liquid. Can't pee. Existence sad. <laughs> what the fuck is this game suddenly like dwarf fortress now what's happening <laughs> the carp stands up Thurston I die because I can't drink alcohol Thurston to deal with the pain <laughs> how many hydras do I need okay um, alright all we're right. at an impasse wetland or fucking woods um, well, we're going okay, to right? Okay, okay. So wait, 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 wait. wait. Two days know. passed to, to get you out of the swamps into into a more uh, grassland plains area, though it is still wet and boggy. The weather takes a better turn. It's overcast, but it's 
not constantly raining, which is good for all of you. Um, there's little little bits of sunlight that are visible, but it's mostly the sun being obscured by clouds. During this time, Tashti takes the lead, sort of directing you along paths. As you make your way out of the, the swampland where um, Site B and Gorgamonger were located, as you carry on you eventually come across um, areas after exiting the swamplands and into this plain area um, where you see what appear to be stone foundations, roughly rectangular, some in the area of like 10 by 10, others being as large as like 50 by 50 foot um, stone foundations that come out of the ground, some of them rising above the ground like almost four or five feet others actually just like level with the dirt in the ground here there are all sorts of cobbled together stones that looks that like look like they've come from various different structures um you can see the remains of camps on top of them what appear to be campfires that have long burned out or you know detritus of things that people have left behind from camping in these areas and so you start to notice these with increasing rapidity as you carry on your journey. Yes, Erndil, lore. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to uh, turn to Tashti. So do you it, uh, have the Kaibus been camping here? Is that uh, what we're looking at? Or is this a different camp? The different kaibus of the solitude, they, they move with regularity so as not to over-harvest in an area, earn the ire of local wildlife, all of those things. Um, these, are, these are foundations. We are taught that you, you lay foundations down but are willing to depart from them when you need to. You'll see these scattered throughout the solitude. These are places for campers to, to rest. You won't see them as close to the the large city, but you will see them further and with more regularity out here to allow for people to set up residence. Uh, the, the Kaibu of the Sodden Earth, which I belong to, it's, it's built on similar foundations. Oh. Huh. All right. Well, I'd rather it be the Kaibus than whatever the fuck the Medics Guild was doing over here. So, glad it's you guys. Yes, these have been here for quite some time. They are the foundation of our lives, in a way. Tashti sort of nods. We're well, like I like it. I mean, what, what was that, Baldrick? I'm sorry, I talked over you. I do that sometimes. I'm a real bad person. It's almost person. like crop rotation of a sort. Jesus Christ. Wait. Uh, I guess it is sort of crop rotation in a way. Crops? Oh, let me tell you about crops, friends. Now, I'm good. Back. <laughs> how long till the next location? Um, so, <laughs> so <laughs> I love that you down. fuckers. I love that you fuckers are like, ha ha, chicken, ha ha, funny joke. I'm trying to do picture, and you're like, fuck off. Let's move to the you next. Really down. Down. <laughs> tell okay. us to do it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Look, you I just, I like. Put that demon on Thurston, us. you realize these are two different <laughs> tiers of joke, correct? Oh my that's God, true. That's, that's so true. Mean. Picturn is is very high. That's exactly. True. We that only is need true. We so can never live up him. to Picturn. He's, he is like the garam masala of this group. We are the garlic powder. We need to use him very <laughs> sparingly. Otherwise, this will taste entirely too much like a giant pot of cinnamon. I agree. We should kill him now. What? No, I think we should boil you. It won't taste very good. Have you tried good. wood? <laughs> Next location. Um, <laughs> Let, let's let's uh keep on trundling. Keep we're on just kind of dragging. By the way, we're dragging the fucking disabled, inactive Tannhauser behind us. Yeah, yeah, we're just taking turns carrying him. Sure. No, we've got him in like a sled. Because none of us are strength characters. That we may like a dumb cart. <laughs> the the that? people. Oh original? yeah. No, we we just have him put on the dirigible because <laughs> yeah, he counts yeah. as an item right now. He's not a person. True. Yeah. yeah I put him in my pocket. For dragging. Okay. Okay. Well, you you continue carrying on. 
leaving Pick turned behind. <laughs> Pick turn, Pick I mean, turn get over here, anymore. little guy. I want to well, hear about your crops. I mean, again, we, we, we got what we needed out of him. We're good now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God damn. No! That's no, no, our little no, guy. Now. That's my son. <laughs> Listen, Pickturn Pick turn effectively outmoded himself. He made himself irrelevant. If he, want, if he wanted to keep being employed by us, he should have just have, had us walk in circles until we got tired of him and killed him. For food. All right. I think you... that's what corporate managers think like. <laughs> exactly. Wow! All right. You, you carry on for another um, two days of travel. So at this point, you've been traveling through through the swamps of the solitude for roughly four days, two of which were getting through some some thick swamplands, then more of like an open plainsy area. You, you start to make your way towards uh, what is clearly a more densely packed forested terrain as you as you are traveling along this way. Um, you you kind of go closer towards this um, this wetlands to the north, the thing that Tashti had sort of told you to avoid. And as you're about reaching midday on the fourth day of your journey, roughly, you know, seeing seeing this forested area in the distance, you see something that does attract your attention. Um, probably like very far off in the distance, but it is visible. Is a brass spire rising out of the wetlands um, and you can see water around the base of this thing you're slightly elevated this brass spire is surrounded by several floating concentric circles of iron um, and they, they look more like rings that float around it. Some of them are cracked and broken. Others of them are um, like whole and, and you can see them moving. Um, and, and there's like little arcs of electricity that seem to go between some of the broken pieces as it floats there. This is way off in the distance. You're guessing maybe even like couple miles uh, away to, to your your relative north but you see this structure jutting out of the uh, the wetlands I, I I tap Tashti on the shoulder hey yes what the fuck is that Sorry, I, I know that you live here, so you're probably the best person to ask in this scenario. I know that you're not an expert on every uh, thingamajig in these swamps, but what the fuck is that? Leftovers. Can you elaborate? That's really cryptic. Well, that's that's what we call them. They're, 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 they're leftovers from all the people who've come to, to take the city. And what particular one is that? Uh, well, all of you can give me checks on this thing. Um, occultism oh. being the uh, occultism, the, the wow, preeminent the none choice. None of us have because none of us are occultists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bali is so God. intelligent. Um, cut to Rahua, who has occultism. True. Hi, I, I'll just give hello, you. Hello, I'm a product of dark sciences. There you go. Yeah, this is why I was asking the ex, the the lady who'd been here the longest, you know, so she could tell us. You want to have her roll too, Thurston? I'm not gonna lie. Never mind. Who wants us? I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, Odo. Like as he was there, like what the fuck? I really wanted her to turn around and hear like the visa. Like the then he starts going like and he starts explaining it like visa. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, why are leftovers? <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um Rahua, as as yes. like as as Volley is asking and and and, and Baldrick are you know asking Tashti about this, you look up at this and You've you've traveled the solitude, you know, once or twice. You kind of know your way around. You maybe have you know done some things on local fauna forms and all sorts of you know learning and information. This structure is something you've heard about. Um, it, it is a leftover from some prior conquest attempt of outset. Um, it is several hundreds, maybe even thousands of years old. Um, but the only thing that it is known as is it is a Zeskorin reality engine. That is all that is known about it. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
Everyone's bickering, who is just looking up at this massive structure. Oh, that's uh, the Scorin reality engine, is it not? Uh, Gesundheit. So what is it? I'm going to kill you for that. <laughs> In Minecraft. In English, four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that just happened. No. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's a name I've heard. Yep. It yes, spins. I, I, what? It spins. I don't, it I don't spins. know much more about it. There's wait, ghosts. Wait, wait, wait. It still it spins? Well, not ghosts. They're a bit different. But yeah, well, look, it's spinning. And like you can see that the, the circles that are, you know, floating within the, the, the brass spire, like they're they're turning. And you could you could see this punctuated by the fact that like some of the some of these these rings that are turning around it have like broken chunks or you know even breaks in the ring itself. They're crackling with electricity. Okay, so let's 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 gather our knowledge here. It's haunted. It spins. It's a reality engine. Yes. Th those are three incredibly disconcerting things for a giant brass tower to be. Very much so. Although if it is a reality engine, by semantics alone, I would assume that they are less ghosts and more reflections of, oh, I don't know, possible equations of the self that beyond time and space, beyond your comprehension, most likely. Rahua, there are so many things that are beyond my comprehension. I know, is it get a wonderful? Bit more specific. Ghost, I, not ghost. Ghost might actually be you. I would suggest we oh. avoid it. Hmm. Well, there wouldn't you probably should anymore. not go traipsing around inside it. I not without learning more about. It. Hopefully, it doesn't factor into our little scenario here. Ah, uh, hopefully not. And Tashi sort of turns and it's like, "We're going to head into the woods. It'll." keep that thing out of our line of sight for some time, which is for the better. People tend to remember things they didn't remember when they look at it for too long. Let's get going. I have no, I have <laughs> no time said, or patience for this. Turns at that. Hold on. Repeat that? I People said what I said. Remember things that they're not supposed to remember when they look at it for too long. Yep. That, that's and, a detail. And Tashi you turns and just now. keeps walking. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh, 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 huh? Well, now I want to look at it. Is Volley looking at it? I, 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 I turn and look at it. Like, now I'm curious. Give me a will save, Volley. Oh, oh, of course. Naturally. Uh, well. Ah! Phil. Yeah, that save. was a two. That was every a two. Save. Every I mean it wasn't a one. It was a two. <laughs> you know what? That's true. We're not rotten for yet. You you have two hero points as well. I mean, you don't know what this'll do, but you have to I two don't know. Points. He's gonna take it away from you. You use those to not die. I just That's think it would be fu true. I just think it would be funny. D I, you know me. what I think is gonna happen? I think Thurston's gonna be like, you remember spending a hero point. <laughs> Yeah, you just I, you were nail stealing my good jokes. Just no, I, I look up at this tower and Amygdala's there. And Polly's just like, oh, oh hunter, hunters. Oh, 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 oh. You talk about Amygdala. We say Amygdala. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to look at the tower. What, what? Show me the horrors. All right, you gained one insight point and then we'll carry on. Uh, Yay! <laughs> no, I'll tell um, you later. Yeah, you 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 stare at it and it just looks to be some some strange brass spire with rotating metal rings around it. Thurston. Yes, Hulk. Can I peep the horror? Oh yeah, absolutely. You wanna give me a will save? Sure do. Sweet. This is relevant to my interests. I am 24. In this. Okay, okay, okay. I don't I, I don't want to tell you if that's a success or failure. I mean, nah. it might be. Who knows? Oh, boy. Would you you I believe Rahua, you have a hero point, too, which you can certainly use on that should you choose to. 
That is true. I could have used a hero pit on that. Yeah, Why? you could. Why? <laughs> For, uh, as you're being hero points, the, the hero point bot's having you. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to contact well, the guy, but, but still keep going. Uh, yeah. I'll, we'll figure it out, but... Uh, okay. Try to contact the guy. So if anyone's I wanna... confused why it's not going down... <laughs> I'll I'll spend a hero point. I'll humor you. I'll probably get a lower result. Well, that's even better. I mean, hi. <laughs> no, 30. 30. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> um as you you stare at this thing, you you have a flash. There is there is like a a deep flash and you see that you are you are standing in the solitude um and there is a caravan that is on fire. It is tossed over, burning. Um, everything about it is is like destroyed. There's screaming shouts. You're you're there. It's vivid, but everything is kind of in black and white. Um, and and as that happens, and you're you're seeing this, um, you can see that the caravan that's knocked over. Um, there are several boxes that have fallen out of the side of it and you you immediately recognize the symbols that are on the sides of these crates as the ones that you saw in the cube and at site b uh the symbol of the medics guild um and as that happens you feel something run through you like from behind through your body and you feel yourself discorporate back into standing and staring at the spire. Oh. Well, that's not... Or maybe it is. Did you, did you see something? So there's a caravan on fire. Like, completely destroyed. Okay. Or maybe it will happen. Or maybe it has happened. I don't know. But either way, that caravan is full of those crates. Those crates full of horrible, rot substrate. Oh, and it was on fire and tipped over. Yeah. Who told you it was tipped over? Oh, oh, I thought you said that. <laughs> did you peep the horror too? No, I did not peep the horror. Oh? I, I'm just metagaming, you see. Oh, I see. That's standard thing here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not making me feel a whole lot better about this detour we have to make. Okay, so it was on fire, and the medic skilled boxes were in it. I mean, rip bozo, I guess. I mean, good riddance. <laughs> Ostensibly, if the caravan is on fire carrying those rot boxes, one of two things comes to mind. Either we are destroying that caravan... Or Elort and his men have torched it. In which case do I ask if they would be the ones destroying the caravan, are we the bad guys trying to stop them? No, well, we haven't stopped them. I'm but good. I have a hard time believing Elort is trying to do anything good. Oh, I mean, same. He's clearly evil. Baldrick places a hand on, on Rahua's shoulder. Rahua. Let's try to preclude both of them from getting any sort of headway, shall we? Of course. I don't think either of them are particularly nice, and I don't think any one gaining something over the other is anything we should look forward to. Mm. Oh, no, well, I mean, we should certainly destroy those whenever we come across them, so it may just be that we're going to be setting it on fire. Nevertheless! Whether or not, whether or not this has happened or is yet to happen... It's not filling me with a lot of hope for our little band of mercs, so let's get a move on. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be putting much stock in, in visions, you know. They get they get awful strange. I had a grandma, uh, she she saw things, and, you know, she thought that if she dug in the same spot once a year, every year, that she would end up finding gold. Never found gold. I had a vision of drowning once. It's fucked oh. up. Don't ground, that'd be bad. <laughs> Fuck you, it sure would be. Let's go. Yeah, um, pig turn. That's some great wisdom there, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, 
Bro, who are we? Well, we'll look don't at drown. Uh, yes, yeah, so as you like look at picture, and he's like clearly like jauntily walking behind Tashti as you head into this forested area. How about we take a quick break here, and then we will come back. Yay! Absolutely. Yay. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> everyone, let's go get some snacks. We'll be right Snack. back. Around. Snack. Don't go anywhere. Snack. Brb. But gotta see you later. Brb. 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 Zorin is about to die. When he dies, he will die in real life forever. This is funny, but it doesn't have to be. Through your support on Patreon, we can find a way to incrementally slow this train before he is destroyed in complete agony forever. In exchange for your patronage, you'll receive access to the show early. Unique monsters, lore, spells, and items. What a deal. And that's not even counting your early access to stream VODs, behind-the-scenes content, and more. That's a lot of value! Just listen to this testimonial from a longtime patron. Who is this Zorin guy again? Terrific stuff. Please, head over to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Because, if you don't... Ah, uh, we're back. Hello. Hello. Hey. We're here in suffering. Uh oh, sisters. <laughs> uh oh, sisters. <laughs> An anonymous gufter is giving ten gufts to the guft community. Thank oh. you for the gift that stops. Thurston. Thank you, Anon. We're currently starting, and I think our uh, our bot is working now. So thank you, Sonosu, for helping with that. And um. Oh, Thurston, boo. we're currently yeah. suffering right now. Thank you, Grogu. Well, you were making your way uh, further into the swamps of the solitude under the direction of one Tashti. Um, you've been making your way now. You're, you're, we're coming on to the sixth day of travel as you're as you're now going through a bit of a forested region, leaving the Zeskorin reality engine behind you and the strange visions uh, held by by one ball of pure anarchy known as Rahua. Your travels continue on. Um, the, the, the terrain continues to be difficult to move through. Tashti deftly leading you through. Um, Oren and Rohua don't struggle quite as much, but Vali and Baldrick, it's its annoying. It's its its just a pain to get through this. Half of the time you're stepping and you're stepping into muck and schlocking water. It's, it's just bad. But you eventually come to a bit of a, a bit, bit of a further um, area swampland away from some of the trees. It has a sense of like water streaming through it, probably from the the wetlands that are now more to your east than anything mm -hmm. else. Um, uh, there's re yes. re real quick. Are we still taking into account all the things we're doing as we're moving, like scouting, investigate, track, investigate, avoid, notice, search? Yeah, I'm uh, like, unless there's like any any big changes, uh, I'm just kind of going with what we had as the defaults there. Cool. Yeah. If you want to change them up, you can let me know. But like, I, I, I'm kind of going with some some flat uh, checks here because we, we don't need to roll for every hex unless there's something going on. Um, and yes, they are just dragging uh, Tannhauser. Actually, Tannhauser is on the floating disc. Uh, okay. No, no I, I think it'd be funnier where we just kind of like put a rope under his arm and we're just, just dragging him. We just have a long line. And because <laughs> of that, I want to change my activity to covering our tracks. <laughs> also, I'm constantly <laughs> feeling back the ditch. Why? Like you you just have him at the end. So like your footsteps and then there's just the like your tracks are gone. It's just a, a furrow from Tannhauser. <laughs> <laughs> We walk in a single file to hide our number because Tannhauser destroys all tracks. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've provided the image in our quick general chat here. Oh, <laughs> y yes. Good. <laughs> good. Very good. Mind Very. freaked. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> Tannhauser, you, uh, Tannhauser, you, you're not here. That's the thing. I, um, I can go next door and tell him. <laughs> Get, take his ice cream we discussed this you need to take his ice cream away from him um all right so as as you uh as Oren, as you you, you perform the your, your your track covering um and then baldrick your your question was about exactly what you were doing so i'll i'll i'll, I'll adjust Oren to be cover tracks now um which is a lot trickier 
cover tracks. Maybe this won't. No, oh, of course it'll mess everything up. That's cool. Uh, oh god, I can't even click picture. It's all. It's all going to hell. Uh, I, I hate the good. text thing in Foundry. That's the one thing I so <laughs> that just bugged the hell out of me. It's like here. I think oh, fucking hell. No, I don't want to click on picture. Fuck you, Zorn. Don't even. Don't even fucking there we go. Mumble, crumble. Look, I need it to look nice on the screen, and I'm just. Fuck you. Okay. All right. So as I was saying, you're carrying on. Um, the, the, the wetlands are sort of seeping into this area. Some of the trees have have you know, come, come down a bit. A, a fog has swept in, uh, and you are you are making your way. Uh, there there's some like dead and desiccated trees, like puddles of uh, puddles of water, and each of you is making your way. Um, what I will ask of our people, because I think right now you're you're sort of taking. Um, you're 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 approaching things very carefully still with Tashti Tashti leading the way. Um, I am going to. I think what I am going to have you do here is as you are traveling along, um, Vali, you were avoiding notice. Can I get a stealth check from you, please? Yeah. Uh, decent. That's a 22. 22. Okay, cool. So are, are you like with the group or are you kind of like away from them all? What's what's the what's the, the, the plan for Vali here? Um, I'll stick close enough to the group. They probably don't want me wandering off and falling into a pit. Okay. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Um, now, the rest of you, I know, are you know, pro providing a bunch of skills. Um, so what I will get, and you know, some of you are investigating as well. Baldrick, you're scouting. So I'm assuming, Baldrick, you might be a little bit ahead, but not far. I will be ahead. I can do a stealth as well to stay out of sight because I'm not trying to give away our position, especially given that we are. I'm now particularly on alert that we're going to blunder into a Lord's men doing something unpleasant. Yeah, um, can you, um, can you please give me a stealth check? Stealth coming at you. And by the way, since I hit level seven. Yes. I'm doing that at a plus 14. <gasps> oh, nice. shit, you're a master. Oh, that's a 33, oh. too. Woo! You Sheesh. are, you pull out a cardboard box and no one can see you at all. Um, I can use a smoke bomb. I'm powerful. All you lead, right? <laughs> right. uh, if you guys want to like stealth yeah, we need that because i have a plus three to stealth and we would rather use yours so here, how yeah. it works is if you're gonna follow the expert basically you guys have to all you all get to roll at the lowest based on what i understand of this let me see quiet mm -hmm. allies if i am avoiding notice so it, unfortunately no that would be only if i was avoiding notice i am scouting quietly uh, yeah. Well, you just go yeah. do that. I'll I'll wait here for you. Come yeah, back. Yeah, you guys, you guys just slow up behind. I will scout ahead. He's he's he's, he's scouting scouting up ahead. All right. Um, for Ruhua and Oren, can I get perception checks? Because you were both kind of on that, like, well, investigating and covering tracks. So, sure. I'll even do one for the little old pick turn squilch foot. Ah, uh, very good. Oh, okay. 21. Okay. Okay. Um, the music, it's just randomly tells us how to go into a fire. Ah, I'm like, I like the music, goodness. it's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's um, perception check, Oran. Oh, sorry, I'm I'm fighting with the uh, <laughs> the music. I try to make it all cool and it's not being Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Right, perception check. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Oren rolled a 24. Sweet. All right. You are making your way up ahead. However, as you are uh, advancing, um, you notice something, or at least some of you notice something. Um, you notice that there are several creatures that are heads down amongst the full or amidst the foliage here. Um, 
they appear to be um kind of like yeah basically like hiding within some of the the, the tall grass of the area uh i'm going to move us over to here and hope this all works okay and all of you are doing doing just great as you appear here you can see up ahead there are several sort of avian creatures that are amidst the foliage they look like they were ready to pounce on you uh or were, were preparing some sort of ambush however uh you have uh you've seen them and they don't seem aware that you've spotted them just yet it looks like they're waiting for you to get closer um they appear to be like almost rust covered chickens because that's the theme of the episode apparently chickens wow look at these things where can we get these thurston uh you can get these in a pdf that we make that one uh hulky mccrow uh, did the writing for this is yeah. on our Patreon. This is the uh, Swamps of the Solitude uh, PDF. And these creatures that our party has no idea what they are, you can find them in their stats and all the cool tokens and handouts in there. Bam! Sales yeah, pitch. Patreon.com yeah. forward slash the Yeah, oh, sweet. If only I had a PDF to know what these things were. That's, yeah, that's we exactly what Folly says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, but all of you have seen this. Um, so what I'm going to do is, since you've kind of seen these these critters like hull down in the grass, um, I'm gonna begin an encounter here with Baldric. You stop just in time to see these. Yes. What would you like to do with your uh, three actions? I'm gonna inquire. Are they prepping to ambush themselves, or are they just kind of here? Uh, not themselves. It looks like this is some kind of pack that's spread out. Like, they're working in concert. Hmm. They're just very spread out, probably, to catch a wide net and then pounce all together. In that case, since, uh, I would, I'm gonna ask, is my 33 stealth going to be what I go into this with as a roll, or do I have to roll again? I've already got you an initiative. That's why you're first. Oh. Hmm. And they have so not they don't seen see me. Correct. Birds. <laughs> He's leaving. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Baldrick is going to uh, survey each of them, just kind of like waiting in ambush. Yeah. He's going to just make a series of hand gestures behind him so that they don't hear anything. Okay. I, uh, I like I want to know how you alert to chicken in hand gestures. That's just cause because I love it, but Well Baldrick first throws up a hand that looks like a claw, and then he like closes it into a fist and then circles it around, like facing upward. And then he's going to point at roughly where they are adjacent to his position. Can I make a check to see if I know what the hell he's talking about? Uh, well, when we get to your turn, absolutely. Um, I mean, no, however, for funny, for funny, oh, for a, funny, for like funny, a, yeah, for, for for funny, like on my, you, know, you don't have to do it and make me waste an action. You can just, I'm perceiving it. I'm there. It could be like a like a save I have to do to understand what he's communicating. You know. Well, you, know? you already rolled high enough perception, Orin, that you can see these things too. Yeah, but but to understand it, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna oh, vomit my. on you, bear. <laughs> I love like oh. <laughs> I just imagine Alpha listening to this like Jack Nicholson yes dot gif like yes as he hears fucking <laughs> sickos ha -ha, yes yes I what said in chat do it for the content okay fine fine for the fucking content roll me whatever hey, look, whatever I don't happy. know you you should be happy no, no, no. because if I ever Thurston like, I'll tell you what it, I can roll one. <laughs> First, and I'm going to I'm going to GM you here because no. I'm dictating this now. <laughs> Zorin. Yeah, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Is your int or your wisdom higher? My wisdom. Thurston, may I petition you to have him roll against his wisdom? 
Yeah, he can roll. He can definitely roll against his wisdom. Yes. So Go you want me to roll like my D, my will save or my will DC would be like twenty five. Yeah. So. Uh, no, 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 no. Against your wisdom, which means your wisdom is really high. So yeah. you would have to roll incredibly low to fail. Like looking at this, if we were <laughs> to say turn this into a ratio of uh, one out of 20, which is a standard dice, your yeah. wisdom is currently a 19, which means you would only fail the understanding check on a one. All right. So flat. Let's see. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that one. Oh, I saw. <laughs> Cesar, I'm it. helping you create. I'm helping you create content. Because if that was a one, you could have clipped that and then shit your pants for 20 hours because that would have been fine. <laughs> All right, got that. Oh my like, God, Orin. like, subscribe. We have rolled a one. Okay, fucking, what are you doing? Uh, Orin, Orin sees this hand signals and like you'll see him nod, looking like encouragingly, like, yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Okay, uh, what's 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 your actual actions going to be, Bald? Okay, now that we've gotten that exceedingly long scenario out of the way, uh, Baldrick is going to move... Uh, what is my move? It's 20, I think, right? Yeah, 20. He's going to move 20 there, and that will put me in range of this bird. Uh, let me think, actually. Can I get further ahead? So would I have to re-roll stealth to remain in stealth? Um, you're basically going to be stealthed up until the point you take a, like, combat, like, a combative action is how I'm going to, to put it here. To, um, to help check you understand, Arundel, is that they technically would have already made their perception checks, kind of, yeah. versus your stealth check, kind of, deal. so you're stealth until you take a hostile action, because then you would reveal yourself, so if you... And I'm trying to see what other thing. actions I can take except for attacking, because I'm not seeing any that I can take. Because we lost them all under the. Uh... Yeah. If anything else, uh, you can just you can uh, recall knowledge of them, observe them, get some information on them. Yeah. Like while I'm thinking you're about what else I can here, because you can do it like so. Three, I think. I'm going to move into position and then recall knowledge. I'm going to move there. Okay. Just like along where the water line is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, it'll I'm be a nature check. To... Target that guy and nature trick. Yeah. This should be interesting. No, oh, nature's not very high, so I don't know what. No, because that's. I'm not going to do that, because that's only a plus one. I need to think about what else I can do then. Hmm. They can all still see me, right? It appears they have not seen you. No, they. The oh, group. yeah, yeah, your group. Yeah, absolutely. Can I attempt to do some sort of tactical thinking and do perhaps... Uh, I wanted to open my sheet, not close it. Thank you, Foundry. Very cool. Uh, I wanted to roll like... Uh, there's no leadership, right? So there's nothing I could do there. I do like a lore warfare to try and maybe give them an advantage of some kind. Um, sure, but how are you like planning on communicating this? Again, hand signals. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give it to you. Uh, doing it via hand signals is a bit difficult. I'm gonna give you a minus two circumstance penalty. Oh, well, that's fine by me. I'm going to roll it. Da -da -da, modifier minus two. Add. And I am going to make a series of hand gestures trying to dictate people how to move through so we can properly ambush the ambushers. And hopefully it works, or it could just be comical, too. Oh, that's a pretty high roll. That's uh, 28. 28 is enough for you to, like, convey tactics. You can you can probably, like, alert them so they're aware of the exact placement of all of these things so that the map makes sense to them. Um, and also probably, like... Before any of them act, they I'll, I'll grant them like a plus one bonus uh, to attack rolls. Hmm. As you and kind of like that's... give your signals, yeah. Okay. Yep. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna come up with a big endearing plan because I don't foresee this being terribly difficult. Okay, so one of these starts moving rapidly.
And then... It rushes, basically, and you see it kind of cross the path you were following, moving from from the tall grass uh, out. And then it goes there and tries to be be hidden, but the rest of you clearly see that this like this creature is not high hidden. It's quick, it's quick, ruffled feign, things up. Feign, yeah. feign sight so it doesn't know it's been made. <laughs> yeah, uh, Orin, you're up next. All right, what hand signals did Baldrick do? Oh my god. All the way over there. I, I uh, very kinda, efficient ones. Yeah, very efficient ones. Move on. I'm gonna kill okay. you. Okay. <laughs> I yeah, I have to clarify, cause Orin's about to try to eat birds. Okay, well he told you about the he told you where they were. It's fine. Okay. Orin Orin will now cast dinosaur form. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And he is going to turn himself into a Tyrannosaurus Rex because he is now level seven. Uh, excuse me, that is actually a king king re reptile, uh, Mister. We do, we can do it. Can they they trademarked T Rex? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've had enough of your pseudoscience, Erndil. That's a fucking T Rex. Don't come in. I've had enough of you. Breaks bullshit. your neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to see if this uh, works in just fine. Just whoop. Yeah, now I'm big. And now it does all the cool spell. I'm going to put myself here. So, oh, big, big, large, huge. Oh, the token thing didn't transfer over as it, it was it was trying to, but the thing failed. Regardless, Orin is now now big smidge. And so that that you takes <laughs> that takes two actions to do. Don't worry. I, I was, I was going to move after. I, I know. Oh, yeah. um, that takes two actions to do. And... Just to legally, I'll, I can't put myself on. It's okay. I'll have him squeak there. Um, yeah. And he wants to look at the bird who thinks it, he is uh, hidden. Okay. And what I want to do is intimidate. I want to make a loud, boisterous roar as a T-Rex and try to uh, demoralize that bird with an intimidate check. Oh, okay. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, give me an intimidate check. All right. It's only a plus nine, but I want to try anyway. So, also, do I get a plus one to the Arendelle's thingamajigs on this one or just attacks? Uh, yeah, sure. Somehow his tactics apply to you turning into a dinosaur and intimidating these. Excellent. I don't know how exactly that works, but I, I'll allow it. So, Orin stamps one of its giant feet down, and a large war erupts as he tries to intimidate. And I roll the two. I'm going to hero point it. Which is <laughs> <laughs> the one. Again. Uh, All right, not as good, but it's 19 against its will will save or will DC. Uh, that will that will be a success. Awesome. He is not creatures now frightened one, and that is the okay. end of Orin's turn. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, allow me to apply the uh, frightened condition. Uh, I could probably help you I got out. it. I got it. I got it. It's done. See, I know what I'm doing. All right, uh, T-Rex Orin shows up, and the, the bird, like, backs up, and it begins working. Like, wah, wah, as it's, like, feathers begin to pull back as it sees this T-Rex in the jungle. That's um, where they're supposed to be. Then another one comes. It flies straight to the southeast. Like you see it, like do like these hopping jump flies. It's its wings barely able to keep it aloft, and then it just lands right there. And that's all of its movement. Volley, you're up. You uh, you see this? You see this situation? What are you doing? Um, Oakley Doakley. Well, this is a. An interesting situation here. Um, I'm I'm going to try something a little silly. Um, okay. Because we're we're kind of in some 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 dense dense foliage. Yeah. It's a bit hard to get at these aerial I, I, I creatures. Like, like they, they, they they're all on the ground. They're not flying. This one sort of jumped aerial. through over oh. at you. Um. But like there's, you know, there's 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 certainly like terrain, like trees and such to take advantage of. Yeah, yeah absolutely. OK, no, I was going to climb up Orin. Uh, oh, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right. Yeah, you absolutely could. I would allow it. <laughs> but if they are on the ground, that does just feel unnecessary. I, I'm, if, you, 
if if volley I, I don't I apologize if I didn't hear what you just said. I was changing 50 things. If you want to hop on top of the T-Rex, Orin will just let you do it. Right. <laughs> All right. So what we need now is someone needs to take the uh, the po movie poster for Tammy and the T-Rex and replace it with Volley and the T-Rex. Get on that, please. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm gonna... on top. Just... <laughs> <laughs> now I've committed to the bit. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to uh, move over this away to Orin. Yeah. For my first action. Uh, for my second action, I'm going to deftly climb up his big dinosaur back. Okay. Um, Give me an acrobatics check. This I oh, will yes, allow. Please. I will. No, no, no. I want okay. her to make the acrobatics check so she can get panache from doing it. Exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page, Thurston. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Zorin being like, oh, he doesn't have to make a check. Oh, I'm like, oh, for panache. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can't With a 33. Yeah. There you go. Whoopsha. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going. Ah. Yeah, like I'm going to uh, tumble on top. There's always a super saiyan effect when she does it, so we always now just don't like, ah. what? Go further beyond. <laughs> so. Yep. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to just aim my guns at the frightened boy, uh, okay. and I'm going to take a shot. Okay. I need to see if this will work. One sec. Okay. Ooh. okay. Ooh. Uh, I'm, I'm trying something. Thing. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying. Go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Sorry. I'm just making okay, sure there that. There we go. Okay. Yeah. You may you, you may uh, take your shot. Okie dokie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure this works. Check on Molly yeah. and put her height to five feet. Yeah, that's what I was actually thinking. Yeah, yeah do try that. that. And that there we go. Keep her on top. There you go. Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, Oakley Doakley. Um, let's see. The let's... the Martinet Cardoza pistols. Yep. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's 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 fire. Wow. Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. That'll there we yeah, go. Big that'll, that'll crit. Do you uh, sure wish I could finish a ranged shot, but alas. Uh, so I click the critical button. Yup. Yeah. Oh, two ones. <laughs> oh wow. It's uh, it's not great, but hey, but you get critical critical effect because you critted. Yeah. Oh yes, yep. indeed. Yeah. Or it has to make a fortitude save or DC twenty three fortitude save or be stunned one. <laughs> oh no! It it fails. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, stunned. It's now demoralized and stunned and... <gasps> I uh, oh, twirl no. the gun, blow off the smoke, reach out for a high Rawr. five and realize I can't reach Orin's tiny little T-Rex hands. Orin Orin it. tries to give you a high five with the T-Rex arms, gets sad and just claps his own hands together. Like, I can't <laughs> high five myself, no friends. Uh. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Yeah, so Rahu is gonna. Don't worry, Rahu is fucking. What? Mm, he's, he's got this. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna look at that chicken there. Gonna. I'm gonna do something real nice. Gonna cook it? Oh, of course. <laughs> gonna we're gonna cast an Arctic Barrage. <laughs> and we're gonna cast it Haydn. What the fuck? Ooh, isn't that Amazing. your cantrip? It is. Yeah, this Can't is like auto heightened. It's always auto heightened. Yeah, it's oh, always. We auto. love it. We love to see. Yeah, yeah. cantrips of Pathfinder Second Edition are always auto. Yep. Boom. Oh. All right, do it. Oh, oh. That, that's that's the damage dice. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna we're gonna do the attack. Here we go. Yeah, the attack, real kid. Look okay. oh, it's not very bad. That's a little miss by two. Sadly, you do have oh, a hero damn. point though, Rahua. If you know. Oh. Just saying, you know. Yeah. That's true. He's tempting you. Yeah. He just wants you to not have anything to save you with. Yeah, That's exactly. Fine. You're, you're, you're this, happy. I'm going to leave. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Very good. He just walks, like, walks past Tashi. Okay, Bye. cool. No, right. fuck off. I imagine. Right. Like, like, well, I did all I can do, and then leaves. Rahula, you are made of wood. Tashti <laughs> is made of dirt. The tree must protect the dirt. No. Do your job. <laughs> no, I will not protect Tosh. Pick turn <laughs> will will defiantly advance. Oh no! Just pick turn prepping tank. the bagpipes. <laughs> pick, pick turn tank. Pick turn Play tank. Play us out. Pick turn tank. <laughs> yeah. 
He needs to. And there inspires uh, inspires courage on all of you. There you go. You're all inspired with courage. Good Aww, job, pick turn. Wow. As the bagpipes start playing and you, you remember yourselves in these swampy moors uh, from before the first time you met pick turn. All right. However, one of them moves up, then charges at Picturn. God. <laughs> no! The boy! God! Who, who stands God. there um, and makes a strike with his beak. Oh. Oh, I no. One that turns into a oh. Yeah, uh, hits, hits Picturn um, for... Uh, ten Dimaggio, and then two d six persistent bleed damage. Two as Picturn is now bleeding uh, from this savage beak that come, comes in. You guys, walk, walk, walk as this, this raptor creature comes out and begins tearing at Picturn's flesh as he continues playing the bagpipes, never relenting on his musical notes. Um, and then another one comes. To come comes a flying over here to the north northwest. Uh, Tashti backs the f off and like looks around, not doing anything else. Baldrick, you're up. Excellent. It is time for me to kill you in half with my death weapons, Thurston. All right, Baldrick. All right, I target this bird and I'm going to assail it with grenades. I still have my fucking fire. Bo- oh, hang on a sec. We rested. I didn't prepare yeah. for fucking shit ahead of time. Damn you. It's fine. It's fine. Dang it. It's fine. I'll just quick prepare them. It does not matter. Uh, remember, too, now you can um, you have perpetual infusions, so you can always, like, I think there's, like, Yeah, but I can two, always can have yeah. lessers Lesser ones, around. yeah. Yeah. No. I'm just saying, if you run out, you still got something. No. I am not okay. going to do that. That's well, okay. not even remotely worth my time. Okay. Not right now, anyway. Because right now, what I need to do... Mm-hmm. Is I need a quick alchemy together, a moderate alchemist fire. Okay. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. Beginning, right this second. He's got there it. You go. He's on the way. That moderate right. alchemist fire is coming. I have added Let's the go. alchemist fire to my equipment. Wow. Very good. Now you are going to to bomb. Be the bomber who bombs. Yes. Uh. I'm going to throw my grenade at him using <gasps> my attack of death. Okay. It's His this one here. Flat footed against me since I'm ambushing. Yeah, I've got him. I've got this one. This one flat footed, right? Throwing a bomb. Yeah. That will definitely hit it. Eh, good thing I had all that shit. Oh, well. Okay, you're all in the damage. Unimpressive. Ooh. Yeah, so we'll be... 16. Boom! Mm-hmm. Boom, wow. Okay, so that. And then the splash. And then the persistent fire. Okay, it is looking incredibly beat up by all of that. Since we are now in the midst of combat, I am going to make my nature check to assess its life. Sure. Where possible. Go... So, what does the 16 get me, Jimbo? Uh, 16 uh, lets you know that the, what these things are. They are ochre pharaoh raptors. They are beings of the solitude, co- commonly known as rust chickens. Um, you can tell that your your effect reduced it to just, uh, just a, about a third of its health from just one bomb there. Um, and you can ask me one question about this thing. Uh, do they take any bonus damage from any element? Uh, not from any Jesus element, um, though they're, uh, though they are particularly weak, uh, and susceptible to mental effects. That's about the only weakness they have. Give it a second, chat. But um, all right. And that is Baldrick. All right. Now I'm going to have this, this raptor. Okay, first of all, what it's going to do is it's going to, it's going to preen. 
It's preening. Yeah. It's it starts it starts uh it starts preening except how oh, shit it can't really. So never mind. It's gonna it's gonna like get ready to preen and then it just like moves up to you. Preens and like its plumage starts like fluttering about all of this. I uh Volley and Orin. reaction. Oh oh shit, what what's your I reaction? Got a thing prepared. And we'll see if it doesn't even work. Sorry, Chick. What's your reaction? Thing, the... Oh, okay. Hold up. Pop out my character sheet again. My reaction's a spell. Oh, it's the first level spell I put in. I kind of went in our preference. As a T Rex. You know, I was, oh, right. I am a T Rex. And I am Polymar. Yeah. If it does go for the thing, I keep, I keep having to look that up multiple times. <laughs> right. like, can you can you cast spells on polymorph? I think eventually you can. I have to double check. Uh, never mind. I don't have a, I don't have a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for thank you for reminding me because I constantly forget that polymorph and casting. There's a way to do it, but it's you know. <laughs> I keep now it's going. Now it's going to do its uh, very distracting plumage by preening. So both you and Vali, I require will saves. Oh dear. How many, how many actions yeah. is preening? Uh, just one. So it moves okay. preens, and it's got one left after this. It's stunned. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so it won't. So that'll that'll be the end of its actions. You're right. It is stunned. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, and you want so it, it moves in preens, then okay. will saves. Yeah. Have oh. inspire courage. You got a natural 20, and I got a 1! Oh, no! Yes! No. Yes! Oh, no! Yes. So Molly's uh -oh. on the back of Zor, like the T-Rex, feeling like, I'm on the back of a fucking T-Rex, and I just, like, shot that thing between the eyes with my pistol. Everything's great. This fucking, like, bird shakes its head, steps forward, and, like, begins preening in front of this fucking T-Rex. Um... And like its plumage is just like, like it, it 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 just unfurls, and at the same exact moment, the sun briefly briefly comes out and blasts off of these these rusty metallic feathers, um, and um, so you fail the save. Uh. So that means, uh, Oren, you are now blind for uh, for one round. You know, I'm just freaking out, trying to grab my eyes, but I can't reach them. No. That's right. That's right. Um, oh, wow. And if you click on your token, it, wow, that's cool. Um, okay. Yeah, if I so, click on my token, I, uh, well, I have, I, I put shared vision on everything. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. For stream, but in, in Foundry, if you were playing without all the stuff we're doing, chat, uh, it would just turn off vision for your character and you'd only get like sound tokens. Yeah, you get like echo location tokens for yeah. what's nearby. Anyways, um, so yeah, okay, so that happens now. Now on top of everything, Zorin. Yeah. That was a natural one. And I have to complicate, and I can't reroll ones. And you too can make me suffer by going to Patreon.com for slash narrative declaration and submit your own complications. <laughs> Low resignation. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> forward slash discord forward slash twitter slash simple flips. <laughs> you know, plug, plug, mm. plug. Hmm. Let me let me find a good save space one here. For, yeah, yeah, one, yeah, I'll yeah, explain yeah. what blinded does. So, chat. What yeah, blinded, please. What the blinded condition does. Uh, I'll read the condition for you. You can't see, obviously. All normal terrain is difficult terrain to you, so moving at uh, half speed. Uh, you can't detect anything using vision. Uh, you automatically critically fail perception checks that require you to be able to see. And if vision is your only precise sense, you take a minus four status penalty to perception checks. I'm immune to visual effects in blinded, overrise, dazzled. Now you might ask yourself, hey, if you're blinded, can you still melee? You can, but it's at, but I have to roll a DC. And if I roll, I think if I roll, I think on a le like one to 11, I, I can't hit, but 12 after I can. I think I've got one I'm gonna use here. It's called break. And as part of your action, you step on a stray object and catapult it straight into your face. So as you are blinded by the majestic plumage 
of this creature. You step back and a rock like comes under your immense dino tread and flies up into your face, um, giving you the dazed condition. Oh no! Wow. It's pretty cool. Cool. Or, sorry, dazzled, dazzled. We'll go with dazzled. There we go. Boop. Okay. Oh. Dazzled, as you are now, you know, blinded and dazzled and all sorts oh, of bad. Uh, you might want to put me permanently flat-footed as well. I'm also uh, flat-footed. Yeah. So there we go. When, yeah. when I'm, because <laughs> everything is hidden to me. Because now that I'm blinded, yeah. so I am constantly flat-footed. And as I'm looking of it, I have to make a DC 11 flat check to attack anything. Until and now it's system. your it's your go, Oren. Yeah. So everything sucks. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm aware that the bird's in front of me, though. So. Also, that was laser beast ban for that uh, that complication. Cool. Yeah. Does blind overtake mm. dazzle? It does. Uh, so dazzle doesn't do anything to me. Mm. Try to dazzle me. It had days, so you know what? We'll make it. We'll make it something more appropriate because days doesn't actually exist in this game. You know what? I know what we'll give. We'll we'll not use dazzled. You're right. Dazzled is overtaken. We'll give you a stunned one condition too. Oh, that's worse. It lowers my yeah. action. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's Thanks, go chat. You got my back. Go Jimbo. fuck yourselves. All right, that goes away after my blind condition goes. That's my that's my that's my counter. <laughs> yeah, no, right? stunned goes away after the round it happens. So yeah, you yeah. just this round. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go yeah. fuck yourselves. So um, two two action blind T Rex. All right. The, now that we've sorted that out, now what happens? Yeah. Now yeah. what happens <laughs> is that Orin's gonna try to bite this bird. There's a giant <clears throat> jaws like he kind of knew where his last location was, and he's like, mm -hmm. and he tries to tries to make a big honk out of it. He makes a loud roar and, goes, and he tries to bite into it. Uh, first, I'm gonna roll my flat check. Yep. I roll a natural the, 20 on my flat check, so I'm good. I'm glad, I'm glad <laughs> you got that out of the way early. Yeah, and now we're going to try to bite it, and... Yeah. Train, Actually, it's frame condition is good. Wait, I'm really confused. Like, <laughs> but... I have a plus 17 on the thing, but it all said I can... I'm trained, but first, I'm very confused. Uh, when I try to roll it, it says, have dinosaur form, I have strength... Oh, it, it probably turned that off, because I do... I'll just leave it there. It's plus 17 to hit. Uh, that is going to be a 27, and I do hit it. That will hit it. Yeah, give me damage. Awesome. And the damage roll is only 1d12, but I rolled max damage with a plus 10 because I'm a giant T-Rex. That is 22 points of damage to it. Damn. It, chicken. it begins whimpering. <laughs> come on down to the rock of time and come and die with me. I want to try to get it again and try to bite it one more time with my last action because I am stunned, so I'm gonna get the other one. Okay. I'm gonna roll my yep. flat check. Hope to gosh, I get it. I got a 12, I'm in the good. I'm now gonna try to bite it in MAP minus five. So, crunch. That you is will. 11 plus You'll that. You'll hit. That, I got a 23 in it. I'm going to do my damage and whoosh, 10 Oof. on the damage die, 20 damage total because I'm a T-Rex. I eat this thing. I grab onto it like a dog. And then I, I throw it off to the side and it releases another loud roar out of, out of triumph and say, you can't stop me. And then is I that, is to, you know. th that's, that's, that's what you do? Yes. Okay. Volley, can you give me a reflex save? <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. Uh, you allow it, will you? The twenty-three. That's good. You you managed to hold on. Yeah. For dear life. <laughs> Oren, Oren, we're getting excited. What? Where? Where are you? That's <laughs> right. As your your mouth just goes. Bruh. What's on my back? <laughs> All right. That's the end of Oren's turn there. Oh my god. Uh, okay, Volley, you're up. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, no, no, not volley. No, oh. never mind. I have a, I have a raptor that is going to charge at Tree Boy. Treeman. Sorry, 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 Rahua Treeman. He was ready for this. He's getting beaked. Beaked. You don't need more than an Hoker Pharaoh Raptor to stop Rahua uh, Treeman. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> oh. Rahua. It's a thirty-one total. Yeah, for for nine damage. 
I can't Oops, take nine damage. I'll die. Why, 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 Ochre Pharaoh Raptor? Did you, you should, you should not have taken five damage. Rahua should have taken the How damage. How much total go. damage did Rahua take? N nine damage, but that's not all. Because it was part of a tearing charge, he also takes some bleed damage. Five, five persistent bleed. Oh. And then, and then he will, after that, will attempt to hit you with a talon uh, with the multiple attack penalty. And misses. Critical misses, in fact. Oh, that's not good. And that is, uh, that is the Pharaoh. Now we are volley on the dinosaur. Okie dokie. Yes. Uh, well, let's see here. Um... Oh, I gotta help my buddy pick turn over there. Uh, he seems to be getting a little fucked up. I see he's uh, bleeding and has a death chicken in front of him. Yeah. Um. So. Hmm. How far can I leap here? How far can I get in one action if I jump off of Oren's head? You can also just ah. shoot. I can shoot. I just do yeah, more damage say, if I stab say, it. Are you uh, are you immediately going against Baldrick's recommendation <laughs> that you not engage in melee? Listen, like, it's about the style. Yeah, and you are one extremely painful critical hit away of not having wait, this character wait, anymore. What is hey, I've got die style, hard. More style than being on a T Rex. You can just keep <laughs> doing backflips on. That is true. What all else right, you all right, got? fine. Wait, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> might I might I make a suggestion? <laughs> no. I will um, fire my gun. No. Fuck oh. that. That's boring. Oh, okay. Um, hey, 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 hey. Thirsty, stop trying to kill me. Oh god. Me. <laughs> I'm just Actually, gonna say GM, I think you will find. You have you have the the sky um you have the sky pirate dedication, which has the from above action. Which yeah, you that's the thing. I I don't know if I can reach this bird from here though. Like can I can I long jump thirty feet? <laughs> I mean you just have to like land there. What's your regular move? You tumble. Oh yeah, my 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 regular move yeah. with panache is forty five feet. <laughs> yeah, like you can oh. tumble through like like jumping tumbling this way or this way. Good lord. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, fuck it for style. Yeah, and you don't eat like yeah you, like yeah you're fucking good like you can just boop, make your check. All right. Uh. Well, I've already got panache, but. Panch. Panch. Uh, yeah, so for from above, I haven't used this in a while. I haven't had verticality for a while. Uh, basically, you're going to roll, but you get an extra uh, damage dice if you hit. Ah, so. yes, yes. Uh, so am I just a... Uh... Just roll it normally, and then we'll yeah. add, get you to roll after. Yeah, yeah. At eight. Because it's a rock grind specific thing, so it's not built into a foundry yet. Geku foundry. Yeah. Uh, oh. Check my finisher box. Check that finisher, and I'm here gonna, we go. I'm gonna finish him. That's a hit. That is a hit. That, Good that's. One. Uh, you will hit. All right. Ooh, twenty-five. And then give me an extra d6 with that too. Oh yes. From above. Nice. Four. For four. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, so you, uh, like, do this massive blow to this thing, which causes it to, like, work out. Why did he take that much damage? Uh, took 54 damage. No, um, <laughs> 54 damage. Um, but I will, I will correct that. Uh, I should have taken 29, but you... I know. was about to get excited. Um, no, but it's, it's pretty hurt. It's pretty hurt. All right, that was two actions, uh, for a... Third, I'm going to attempt to, uh, because I just used my panache. Uh, I'm going to attempt to faint this thing. Okay. My cat is on the desk. Oh, no. Oh, Hell yeah. Cat. Baby. Oh, yeah. Cat, cat is That's just baby. left up. Cat is here. Cat is blocking <laughs> chat. Okay. Oh, no. Good, cat. <laughs> good kitty. All right. Good kitty. Uh, 24 on the faint. That will faint it. All right. Panache is back, baby. 
Panache is back. Jamie is walking. Uh, is running away. Um, no. All right. All right. That's Molly's turn. You are up. Rahua. That's me. Yep. Uh, we are you have one of the death chickens in front of you. I do. I'm going to beat it to death. How does it feel writing these creatures and then beating them to death? Oh, it feels wonderful. I wonder if God feels this when he fucking torches me on end. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, probably. So yeah, damn. Wow. Uh, how's that? How's that 19? With the critical hit. There's that critical hit with Chitoy. with your Were you you're using the mace? Okay. I am. The okay. mace. Whack it. Okay. What did you roll in total? It looks like a 35. I rolled 35. Nice. That will be a that's critical a lot hit. Of, that's a lot of points. Yeah, oh, roll crit cuz it was 10 over its AC. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right, you do uh 14 points of damage with that. Hell yeah. It's not looking very good. That was your first action. What's your next action? I'm going to hit it again. Okay. Fuck, that bro. Think about the MILFs. Don't. <laughs> what? Me. Are you oh, calling the bird up. a MILF? No. I'm saying think about them. No. All right, I'm thinking about them. This, this is apropos of nothing. Simply think about it. That Anyone? will that will hit. Roll, roll regular Dimashio, please. Here's the Maj. Six damage. Okay, Smash. he will take six, and you will balk it with, with mace. Okay. And then you have one action left. I'm gonna hit him again. Man, minus eight. <laughs> wow, oh. this is fun, Mr. Mosby says, beating a baby with a hammer. <laughs> I'm just appreciating auto-mod. <laughs> Do you wish to allow the, the term MILF? <laughs> Zoran, you better allow that. I had Let's to close, go. I had to close the stream. I'm going to. Uh... That will hit 25. That will hit narrative milf declaration moments. used ad permitted term milf. Very see, good. See, this, this is what this happens is... when you think about the milfs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. All right. Uh, you have domed this thing three times and it is looking pretty beat up. Uh, Rehu. Uh, but that I will be your I have not hit it enough times to cook it, but I will keep no. trying. Oh, oh and then you bodies. will then you will take <laughs> seven points of bleeding the damage, and then you may roll the recovery check, please. I will. No. That's, that's you will 12. not recover. You will be Fuck bleeding you. more. No. All right. The on fire one is now rushing towards you, Baldrick. Stop typing milfs. We can't allow every single permutation of the fucking word. <laughs> yeah, no, we have to. We need to. We're all getting filtered out. <laughs> Let's allow. Check, and see if allow. I'm my, like, allow. Thing. Zoran, allow. this like... this chat room must be milf friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, Aaron Dill Dill just rips like... off his armor. He's wearing a I love milf shirt. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing him smack his chest like he's hitting like that fucking Sonic the Hedgehog bubble noise. I love milfs and milfs love me. <laughs> I'm going to miss you, Baldrick, and then I'm going to ask you, then after it charges you and misses you, the bird that you have on fire and have bombed uh, is then going to try to preen at you. Please give me a will save. He's All distracted right, by Baldrick's go. milf hunter shirt. Yeah, this is the milf hunter <laughs> moment. <laughs> Roland, I'll give you a 32. You are unimpressed by this flaming bird. Yeah, I'm unimpressed because I'm thinking of the milfs, so... <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna end this bird's turn. Now I'm gonna take fire. Good night, chat. Good, Good night. night. Stop. Uh, let me uh, roll this <laughs> recovery Stop check. Stop talking. I'm gonna take that damage. That's cool. Then I'm no, gonna man, roll I the love fire bombs. Correct. Uh, nope. Man, I love feral raptors. <laughs> Yeah, you want to know why he failed to turn off the persistent fire damage? I don't want to know. <laughs> why? Just because he's a bird. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, Pickturn's going to continue. Um, I like how that killed the motivation. <laughs> continue. <laughs> um, oh, um, are like, he's a bird. We all just calm down. Like, yeah, man, true. True. <laughs> Pickturn's going to uh, keep playing the bagpipes and... Well, doing so, stab out with his short sword towards the one by you, Volley. Pick turn. Get his ass. Yeah. Think about them. Here we go. He will hit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Pick turn. Pick turn is like playing the bagpipes with one arm and then like takes the, 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 the short sword and stabs it. Oh. 
seven more points. Melody of motivation. Boom. Bam! Stabs it, and then, you know, um, continues, uh, oops, actually, uh, continues to, uh, play bagpipery. the bagpipes, so you are all continued to be the inspired. Very good. Uh, and that is pick turn squelch foot, and that will bring us to some, some raptors. Um, oops. Oh, and sorry, and then pick turn, of course, bleeds a lot. Um, oh, he's pick bleeding. Turn bleeds to death. Pick turn, pick turn bleeds. Um, Bleed him to death now. No. And he's still right. bleeding. In fact, he critically fails, but it's a flat roll, so I don't know why it says that. But but he's critically bleeding. Uh, because um, and, it's fail. But but since Vali uh, is like clearly the main threat here, the raptor is going to start uh, slashing at you, Vali. So yeah. first of all, it's going to beak you. Missing. Vali, you need to think about them. Um, that would be. Oh, I'm never not then... thinking about Milves. That, that Mills telling you. Mills with a V E S. <laughs> Mills plural in all. That's form? that's just that. No no no. That's not plural. That's just what an elf milf is. Fuck yeah! Now we're talking. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Let him cook. I'm sorry, Thurston. This is the cook. Crit- we can't. We can't. I, we can't undo it. I critically missed with the third attack. And you want to oh, know why uh, uh, he failed? Post. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're look, it. the milfs have given a the milfs have given a lot of hype. <laughs> you fuckers know I'm gonna add in milfs somewhere into this setting. Now. Like, <laughs> oh, Dude, yeah, you say bad. that like add it's a bad you thing. Uh, I'm I'm Thurston, we could just okay, okay. add them to the port city. It's fine. It's true. Our that's true. Saying in chat, saying, have you heard of the high milfs? The high council of milfs will decide your fate. <laughs> fucking, fucking roll your opportune this repost. Show, this episode's title is going to be MILFs. <laughs> no, no, no. You should t- when you when this goes up on YouTube, just Come title on. it. Think of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yes, that's the name. <laughs> Oh, you hit it. Please roll damage. I love how we're joking so much. The person's just playing the game and we forgot about it. We're just concentrating. Yeah, just like, yeah that's because we're winning because we're thinking of the MILVs. Uh, look, 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 for the show, let's calm down. No, it's fine. Calm it's down. Good. Calm down. This bit is curing my reflux. I'm continuing it. <laughs> All right, I stabbed the bird the for 11 points of damage. I don't even know what's going on in the I game it. anymore. Let's let's. Ta- let's Ta- Ta- that's Ta- because Ta- 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 is not thinking of the milves the shaking her head, their head. Doesn't <laughs> even know what's You're going up. on anymore. Like, okay, look, there are a lot of birds. One bird is pecking at Rahula. <laughs> One bird is pecking at Volley and Pickturn, um, and is near death. One bird has just come in to assist in pecking Volley. Baldrick has set one on oh, fire and is being pecked by it. And, and then the same context. Like, you fucking pecking, <laughs> pecking, not with two G's, a C and a K. <laughs> Different. I, Get it right. I need to lie down. I gotta there's, lie down. Baldrick, <laughs> as long as we're doing what my friend group does, and keeps looking at each other. It keeps going peggers, dude, and then it's a whole peggers, dude. <laughs> I have a spear next to my desk. I'm throwing it to Texas. <laughs> this is the high quality. I'm rapidly approaching from the narrative declaration. Channel. Yes, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Good night. I'm just eating like some pretzels, chips you now. I'm just kind of like, yep, here we go. Baldrick, you're up. Can I? Ooh, ooh. All right, uh, yes. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy this man. I'm going to Cut. target him. I'm going to quick alchemy another bomb, and I'm going to throw it. Cut. Use a grenade. Rip to anybody listening to this. And- <laughs> please, please, yeah, please, your please don't watch it with your parents. You. I, I know people <laughs> listen to this with, like, groups of friends, whatever, on their TV, and sometimes... Oh, ah, there we go. You <laughs> this see, one. You see, Zorin, this only happened because you brought up pegging. <laughs> Mr. Mr.'s D. <laughs> All right, hit me with the critical. Ernest, miss. I'm applying your heteronormative conditionals to Mills, please. I'm, I'm, I'm not implying shit. I'm a little attacked. I'm not implying <laughs> shit. You were throwing it at the one in front of you, right? Correct. Okay, so you're going to take four points of splash damage. That's fine. Hit me. And so will it. I love the musical sting that came with that. Man, I love fishing. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Um, you then have destroyed I'm gonna... our chain of power, Zora. <laughs> <laughs> you combo broke us. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, <laughs> one sec. What have you done? Uh, oh. I need to. I need to find a good, good, good ranged combat. <laughs> what? Is this even ranged? This is like melee. So, as as you're looking for, um, you're so I'll explain kind of like how alchemist bombs work for people as you're looking for application. Uh, so if you're an alchemist and you and you generally miss with an alchemical bomb, it's still a ranged attack. You can do it very close, but uh, and there's not really a penalty of doing so. If you miss, you still do the splash damage. So always remember that if you're an alchemist and you're throwing bombs, you still do the splash damage for it. You just won't directly do the direct damage on it. So, but if he critically misses, critically missing with alco bombs is bad. Really, really bad. Um, Correct. I have um, to double check on the rolls, but generally, yeah, I think you hurt yourself or something. I have to I have to. Well, check. he's up close. So, yeah, he doesn't get to exclude like he normally yeah. would himself. Um, OK, I, I'm not going to pick this one, but I, I really like this complication because I'm just thinking of it in the context of this scene. It's just entitled. Oh, great. They have guns now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> And then the birds pull out a fucking the bird with that fucking gun. blicky. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I, I'm the not. with the blicky. One. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> when to tell stories just uploaded something to the chat called milfs.png. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Don't mind uh, if I click on that. No. There you go. There you go, chat. There you go. What the fuck? There you go. That's now, what that logo is. Now you have piqued my interest. <laughs> there you go. That's what it looks like. I'm That's how the overlay is, but yeah, there you go. Uh for for those of you listening, viewers, yeah, you, you gotta go to YouTube for this one. I'm sorry, podcast. We're not, we're not, we're not spoiling yeah. it. You gotta figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, figure this one out. You know. Okay. Um. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna go with um, random bullshit go from my name Jers. Uh, frustrated at your last miss, you spend your next action doing the exact same thing and throwing another bomb in frustration. <laughs> okay, I'll roll to hit. Wait, hang on, I don't have one prepared, so can I just quickly, like, I, I'm so mad, I fucking pizza tower create one very quickly and throw it? Yes. Okay, I'll take a map minus five then. Good <laughs> pizza. <laughs> All right, hang on, we need to focus. Milfs. Yes. That's find your hunter. You will <laughs> find the milf hunter within you. <laughs> what is <laughs> happening? I annihilate the shit out of it with twenty-two damage. Now you're thinking with milfs. Kablooey. Okay. It's, it's really fucking wrong. close to death. It like looks <laughs> awful. Um, you have an action left, my friend. Do I? No, I don't, because I oh, click alchemy and yeah. then throw. Nope, yeah. Technically, I took four, so. That's fair. All right. Well, that one's dead. Um, all right. We're, we're back to... You are you are no longer stunned, and you are no longer blind. Oh, hello, B. Are, are you snacking? Yep. Me? I oh. hear it. Please don't. Good. <laughs> don't smack it. That is, oh that, that is, I, will put, I will put my foot down. Do not smack at the microphone, please. Oh. That will piss people off bad. Oh. Please don't. It's your oh, It's your guy. Just sank right. her claws into my right, leg. I'm no longer flat oh, God. I'm going to take that off. All right. You'll I, kill. See, I see two burbs. I see two burbs over there. So Oren is no longer blinded. He's now ready to go. Finally able to do what his dino dreams are capable of by dying from a comet. So he is going to move. Oh. All the way over this way. I think I have a ring. 30 feet. Let me see. Uh, 30 feet. Dino. I do. Yep. 30 feet. Boop. Oh, you I can also, move 30 feet. I thought that was your range for attack. Yeah, my, my, <laughs> I a become a long, long nosed dog thing, but it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex going, <laughs> yump. Poor I wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, croissant. Croissant. Ah. 
<laughs> I, oh my! Oh god! I wish I knew the quote from that. Because <laughs> I have, I have some friends who would like do the car voice from Jimmy Neutron. He's like Jimmy, and then just say a horrible, horrible thing. So hey Jimmy, you want to see a picture of a milf? <laughs> Jimmy, do you want to see the milfs? I want to see That's your great, mom, Carl. Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll kill you. Can, can we can we finish the combat? Minecraft. Can we, can we finish the combat? People were really <laughs> Earl Asian who was clearly sound. following well, me. Let me tell you about Jimmy Neutron and life milfs. Is danger. God <laughs> fucking damn it! Back the attack, Zoran. <laughs> oh, it's, it's gonna be a short combat. Don't worry. Uh, all right, we're not getting through this alive. Not in reality. We're fine in game. All right. Not, I, okay. You want to hit him? I yes. Yeah, so take the, <laughs> the flat footed off the bird. It automatically does it. Um, that and I will not be hitting him flat footed. The one in the middle between pick turn and volley there, and. Yeah, so you don't have to do it. You can do it if it's a special thing. Uh, I'm going to basically, I won't get the flat footed bonus because I can't quite get in between them. But I will, um, I'm going to try to bite this bird that's in between volley and pick turn here. And with a big old jaw attack, get a plus 17 on the roll. And that is critical. Not a, that is a crit because it will be 10 over his AC with a 31. And so nice. I will do critical damage with it. It'll be 2d12, I rolled a 1 and a 9 on the die for a total with all the crit damage of the plus of being Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it's deadly. I have deadly trait on the draws as well. That is 31 points of damage. Well, thank you for telling thing. us how many hit points they have on call GM on call GM. Fine. <laughs> so, if that thing is dead, as I crunch into it, just... Uh, I just, I just let go. It and takes three it points of half. damage and dies. <laughs> <laughs> I bite it in half and you'd hear a as he does so and just go. And then he turns to the other one for his last and final action with the MAP, with multi attack penalty minus five. He'll attack the other one that is behind volley. And that is, that would be a miss if I still have, I have a hero point. Thanks to the chat. Let me reroll that. Let me minus me a hero point so I don't miss. Get get you a, another hit. There you go. Thank you, Vorin. Yes. You shut up. No, Vorin, I hate you. No, I hate you. no, Hulky. Hulky, we just got back on track. <laughs> I don't even want to hear it, Erndil. You started this train. <laughs> we were having a good time. <laughs> he will, he will Milfs are universal. Vor is not. Die with his 1d12 <laughs> plus 10. He does 15 points of damage to the other one behind volley. That's the end of Vorin's turn. Now I detest uh, this classroom. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm going to have this uh, yeah. this this yeah. raptor up here just to yeah. uh, go go into go into Rahua a bit with a beak. Yeah, are you? Okay. Yep. Oh, yep. I'm going to hit him just just barely. Very good. I'll do 13 points of damage. That's pretty cool. Yeah, nice, nice. I'll just wait, I'm uh, and then for I'm the just, next thing. Just Talon. Miss. Talon. Miss. Cool. Good job. Good good, good job, little buddy. For context, uh, it tried to hit with a 14 and then it missed again with the MVP minus 8 on it. Yeah, with rolling an 18 on the dice. So it's. it's trying to hit, trying to hit Ruru. Oh, uh, that was pretty, too pretty good. We're, we're trying to catch up time that we've lost. So Volley, I'm you're up. I'm saying it out loud because yep. once more for podcast people, they want to know what the rules are. They don't need the Volley. Than the MILFs. Yep. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, wait, do I have Panache? I see my super. Uh, yeah, because you deceptioned it last turn and yeah, then it yeah. died. So like yeah, you were getting ready me. for the most cool badass kill, and then this fucking T Rex came and kill stole from you. <laughs> but you still have Panache because he's, oh, he's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna whip around and uh, stab this bird Burp. with a finisher. Try to do it. Up. Finish All this. Right. That's a critical hit. Oh. Yeah, that works. So all right, 34. roll me uh, about a billion dice, please. Are you ready for all the D6s? Yeah. 
Wait, what? That was that was yeah. not many. You that need was to not click very many critical. Detectives. You need to I did click... click critical. Did you? Oh. And I have my finisher button checked. I just didn't uh, roll them. You still did 31 damage. Yeah, yeah, I see. It's just, just multiplying. That's why. Okay. Uh, wow. And then it's flat-footed, so that's a thing. Um, did it do the deadly? It did. Wait. Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's that's no good. It's still did, alive, though. Did it do oh, the it's still alive. Damage? Did it I, do the finisher damage? I'm checking. So, so this the is check the mark thing, thing yeah. I've, I've with yeah, the update, the I noticed it hasn't done it. I Yeah, I guess not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, have to, I have to reapply it on your character. I'll see if I can try to fix it. Because with the yeah. updates and stuff, it used to work in the past, but now something's broken it. Just mainly doing mainly out of the damage for now. Weird. Yeah. All Until right. Uh, my finisher is a three extra D6, if I recall correctly. Uh, so I think you were doing a conf. Which one? Which finisher were you using? Confident. Confident? What? Confident. Yeah, confident. Uh, but up, up, but up, up. Um, yeah, I think so. Gosh, so I have to double check the, 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 the book. Well, yeah. Um, I'll help out. Confident yeah. finisher, you. It's thing. You're gonna sure kill it. Spoiler thing. alert. You deal half your precise <laughs> damage strike to the tart or the lipsy. Uh, you make a strike with a weapon or an unarmed attack that would apply your precise damage with the full failure effects. Uh, failure, you deal I half your it. precise strike damage to the target. This damage type is at the weapon or. Uh, it's under precise strike. My bad. That's that's right, where it is. Right. So it's two d six, um, and then you are fifth level, so yeah, three d six. So three d six. Add yes, sixty. Yes. Well, three d six times two, technically. Yup. Or no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so 11, uh, 11 that's an extra and 22. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which will, which will, yeah. Blech. As yeah. you stab it perfectly through its head, murdering yes. it. God, right, your first that action. is that is my first action. Uh, for my <laughs> second action, now that I'm panacheless, I'm gonna move. Uh, is this like a big obstacle in the way, like a big tree? Yeah, yeah, there'd there be some difficult there. You okay, kind of yeah, need yeah, that. Yeah. Like, you could, like, double move basically through these two. Like, to. So, this would be, like, 10 feet to move through, and this would be 10 feet. Yeah. Um, in that case, I will just go ahead and double move to get a flank on that fucking burb. burb. Yeah. Do it. Flank is us. Whoop. Whoop. Whee. Cool. That's my turn. Whee. All right. Oh, Rahua. All right. Can you do it, Rahua? Can you? Let's find out. Can you Let's do it again? Do Hua. Hey, check how hard I can smack this chicken. I like how we had this contrast yeah. of animal cruelty before. Yeah. <laughs> about chickens. <laughs> no, no, no. This is, this is fine. No, no, no. Zoran, this is nature. That's normal. Boiling a chicken in a pot alive is cruelty. I well, we just got a half. bunch of chickens for dinner. Yeah, but it's also, that's predator-prey relationships. You're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to be sick. <laughs> Thurston. Oh, okay, what did you roll on stuff? I rolled a 23 to hit, which hit, and I rolled 6 damage. So suffice to say, because the creature is still existing in front of me, I'm going to have to attack it again. Yep. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm going to actually use my final two actions to use Anarchic Barrage. <gasps> Dun-dun-dun. <gasps> da -da chosen one. Man, kinetic cooking is so fucking cringe. It takes so long to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. Fuck. <laughs> you have a hero point. I'm gonna hero point. <laughs> I like how Erndil finally is like, I want this over. Use the hero points to get it. <laughs> 23. We are seven minutes away from the the logical end point. Oh no, nope, <laughs> it's worse. Don't worry, I missed worse. The chicken Yay. lives. Fuck. <laughs> Good old 18. Oh, and then, yeah, please click the recovery because you're still bleeding. Not anymore. Oh, you recover. Yay, but you will take bleed. Um, eh, no, I don't. What? What? You just oh, I just decided not to. Oh, okay. Cool. I just Good. 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 Um, the other one will begin, like, savagely uh, tearing into you, Baldrick. Great. Lord. It will attempt to attack you. It will miss with a nat one. Then yeah, it will that is. follow up 
with a, a, another miss, and miss. then for its next action, it will fly away to this way and start running away from you while on oh, fire. No. No. no, 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 that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> the I mean, fuck? No. What? Oh, the fire goes out as it runs away, but it will take two damage. <laughs> as it, like, flaps its wings and, like, picture and sort of pulls back, continues playing the pipes um, to inspire all of you. So we can hopefully have you end these poor, like, raptors. Tosh I really love that we are not having picture and attack because of meta issues. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny to me. Just, 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 yep. Here we go. I'll do that. <laughs> it's very pick, funny. Pick turn is still very bleeding. bleeding. I like how uh, my lag went away when the spire courage went down because pick turn made his lag. Wow. Lag, lag turn. Uh, Baldrick, you're up. Okay, what I'm going to do. I'm going to ignore that fucking thing. Okay. And I'm going to move. Okay. Closer. Give me a reflex save, right, uh, oh, right there. Reflexing. Yeah. Reflex. Reflex. Please. Go. Uh, I'll give you a thirty-one. You avoid something, but you look down briefly as you're running, and in the the square you've just entered, you see that there is a face down corpse in the swamp. Oh, nice loot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Thanks, Baldrick. Wait, that that's down, whose thoughts down. we've been hearing. There was a, there was just a ghost lingering around, whispering, "Elves." <laughs> that's what it was. It's Arnell laying face down in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> it's me after they get me. All right, I'm gonna yeah, exactly. not surviving. Quick, make a grenade. <laughs> no, and throw it. no, this is not where you use the lore emote chat. No, <laughs> no, no, no. See, oh, I, yes. I write good lore. It's fine. <laughs> Hidden milk lore. <laughs> <floor. laughs> Don't worry. I'm using We've got a, a grenade, supplement the coming. The vain hope that we'll stop combat here soon. You hit. I hit. Let me do damage. <laughs> it's put. It's piddly. It's twelve. For so what you rolled, you you rolled a thirty-one. Your reflex saving you twenty-five to hit, and you yes damage with four flasks. Yes. Uh, it's also on fire. Okay, okay, uh, okay. You know what? Why is... Yep. If, uh, when Pyzo filing makes that orc license and all that other stuff, yep. if MILFs aren't yep. allowed, we're not signing it. We're not part of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring God that up. I'm getting Eric. started. I'm going to get started on the lore for that right after a couple other things that I'm going to yeah. be writing up. Yeah, the Ancestry MILF splat book. We have Garlic Mancer. Why can't we have MILF as a class? Yeah. <laughs> Because we're it's not just... fatal, that's why. Fatal would not be so. We're talking about corruption of champions. We're okay. It'll be ah, fine. okay. Are, are you done here? <laughs> are you? Are we? Thirsty? <laughs> are you done there, Baldrick? Yeah. Get lost. Okay. Get started. Okay. okay. T Rex <laughs> Oren. <laughs> do you want? Do you want to uh, end the combat, or do you want to prolong it? Because you I'm, have two. I'm you have two it. paths. I no, because so literally, so. literally, no. literally, Zoran was just like, I can't let this fleeing one live. Or I'm going after the one that's that's, that's running away, and he's like, go, 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 go. prolonging I the Steel. combat. I don't want to kill Steel. It's their kill. Anyway, Orin chases this one down. Go, 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 <laughs> and, and proceeds to make. Big crunch. I like to imagine like this this bird just got off a little bit, sees work, the water, work. and and it's like it's kind of calm, and, it, and the bird kind of takes a wing and go woo, and then it hears goom goom, and the water the reflection, ripples, the reflection, it, in it. And, and it hears just a roar behind as the jaws come to clamp on this bird. I roll the two, oh. but I have one last hero point. Oh, you chat. are unbelievable. <laughs> and I crit with it. You are <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I'm out of hero points. I'm out of hero points. Hold on. You are an unbelievable and absurd human being. <laughs> so I crit damage. That's 11 six on the die. And with the plus everything and deadly, I got a total of 46 damage. Do I eat it? 
You know, I, if Zoran didn't ban me, this is where I would have some more pretzel chips and loudly do them in. Because that's what fucking happens to this thing. It's it's uh, so dead. Okay, it takes so 10 I have another points question, of damage. Uh, oh, that's, that's fuck. All my okay. Action. My actions oh, move no. up twice and then, and then eat oh, it. Eat it, yeah. That would be your three important. actions. Because we're in a survival okay. situation, I've eaten multiple birds. Do so I have to eat rations after this? <laughs> We could just get rations from them, Zora. No. Yeah, I already got no. the rations from them. I'm just making sure. Okay, I already ate my rations for the day. All right, and well, the turn's done. Uh, Erndil, Erndil takes the, the camera away from the lackey to film, filming all this for a moment. <laughs> hey, 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 narrative declaration artist. Anyone who we're currently paying for who just wants to make art for free, petition to make a ZTB cruelty emote. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. You can, you can make, it, make it like Zorin in the Cruelty Squad guy <laughs> armor. Do it in the put them in fan art, and I will pick one out of a ball if people oh, do my a collection. Fuck <laughs> it's become it's become a recurrence, an amusing one, but a recurrence nonetheless. What what, what are the All things right. rolling, Chet or, or Thurston? I, I, I was rolling, rolling them. Yeah, it, it attempted to peck at Rahua three times and failed. Um, Critically missed three times. Volley, please, please oh, spare us. Send us out again. Oh boy, I'm gonna stab this. Or no, I'm gonna faint first, and then I'm gonna stab this. Why, you the have panache? Don't you have panache? Uh, I shouldn't. Oh, I that's finished. right. Yeah, I that's finish right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It just has you blowing for, for some saying. reason. Yeah, I I, I'm just further beyond, man. Yeah. Okay. What do you want from me? <laughs> All right. Yeah, please, uh, please, uh, do your, do your, do your magic here. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna faint. Uh, twenty-one. Um, that is actually good enough because its will is terrible. Remember, ah, th wow, this is God in fact an ambinal. Still on fire. It is in fact, a please, 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 <laughs> killer, please, please attack I'll, I'll and kill. I'll do my level best. Uh, checking the finisher button. I'm striking this thing. There we go. <laughs> I crit it. Sure. <laughs> we uh, need that crit, as you know. Making sure finisher is checked. It won't work. Remember? Oh no, no! Yeah. No, it didn't. Roll, right. roll a uh, six d six more. Six d six? Yeah. You mean three d six? Well, six d six, and we'll we'll fucking use that instead of three times two. Whatever. Fuck it. What? One of the two options. There you go. Roll. Oh uh, yeah. There we go. It's, Fifty points of damage. Cool. It only it only had nine left. You kill it. <laughs> Yay! Very true. This episode is about milfs and cruelty. You are correct about that. <laughs> Stop! Ah. <laughs> uh, One sec. Since I just assume none of you are gonna heal, pick turn. I'm just gonna see if you recover from this bleeding. I'm gonna help no, him. I, he I doesn't. Stop being a dino One sec. And... I'm just gonna go to the next combat. <laughs> No, 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 Let's just no. see what happens. Okay. Him. He I'm takes seven him. more points. <laughs> oh, roll a recovery Stop check. Oh, no. He keeps his oh, no. head. <laughs> One of my vampire players will unironically kill me if I let Stop. Pikmin die here. He's gonna see how many rounds. The episode is over. The episode is over. <laughs> Everyone have a good time. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. One second. No. Let's take a picture. Man, can picture and can no, picture live? No, the episode is over. Or will we please? The episode is over. <laughs> the episode <laughs> is <laughs> over. The credits are rolling. Stop. He's already yeah. dead. He took six more. Can he recover? He recovered. Yeah, the picture is still alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had he had uh, ten hit points left, but Picturn's alive. Everybody, thanks for coming this I'm week. Playing the music right now. We love you. The, the music is playing. The credits are going. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs> Remember, thank Yay! you. Yay!